Jesus, Jesus Christ. Make a way we have come and to his princess. Can you give the Lord a hand of praise? Hallelujah. singing that song. He said, this is my humble prayer. Hallelujah. Do not pass me by. Jesus keep me near the cross. Jesus keep me near. There a precious fountain. There a precious. Free to all a healing stream. Free to all a healing. Flows from Calvary's mountain. From Calvary. Say, oh, in the cross, be my glory. Oh, till the Let's say in the cross, he will be my glory, beauty, my righteous soul shall bow, rest beyond. Last paragraph, near the cross, I'll watch and wait. I'll watch Hope you trusting ever Hope oh, you trusting Till I 
I reach the correct strand. Part of prayer in the world. Take it as your prayer Ooh. on the wings of a snow white dove. Ta 
what I say me when If they were all in a patch chamber If they were all with one accord For the holy Promise By our Lord sin The power Send the power just now Send the power just now And the power is already here Send the power just Send the power just now Send the power just now and baptize heaven. Send the power. Send the power. Send the power. Now and baptize every. Send the power. Oh. Shake somebody's hand and say, God bless you. Power just now. Send the power just now. And my times have Let's give God some worship tonight. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands tonight. You know any corner? Close your eyes. Let's give God some praise tonight. In your own way, just ask Him for His presence tonight. God is in control. Mungu ameshika mamlaka sasa. God is in this meetings. Mungu ako kwenye mikutano hii. They might look so humble. Inaweza kuonekana nyenye kevu. But his presence. Lakini uwepo wake. Is what makes the difference. Ndio unaleta tofauti. It's not about who is not here. Kuna ako hapa. It's about if he himself is here. Ni kama yeye mwenyewe ako hapa. Then it settles it all. Yeye basi ndiye jawabu. So lift up your hands and close your eyes. Maivyo inua mikono, funga macho. Let's ask him for his presence. Na tumurize zote uwepo wake au shushe. Invite him into your heart. Mualike kwa roho yako. If you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Kama ungependa ubatiza wa roho mtakatifu. Ask him say Lord. Muambie buwana. Come into my heart Lord. Jo kwa roho yangu. Quicken my faith. Huisha imani yangu. Quicken my belief. Huisha imani yangu. Make me a real Christian. Nifanye mkristo halisi. Do that tonight for a few minutes. Let's worship him tonight. Just praise him. Just worship him. Open your mouth and say something. Just close your mouth. Funga macho. Open your mouth and say something. Funga macho. What, what, what you say now is what you will get. Kile utasema sasa, dicho utapata. The Holy Ghost is going to fall in this meeting. Kwa sababu roho mtakatifu atashuka hapa. So what you say now, kile utasema sahi, is what you will get. Dicho utapata. If you need healing, ukitaka uponyaji, if you need Holy Ghost, ukitaka roho mtakatifu, whatever you say now, chochote utakachokihitaji, is what you will get. Hicho ndicho utakapo pata. And what you will get. Na kile utapata. Is what you can use. Ndicho utatumia. To fight your enemy. Kupigana na adui. These meetings are special meetings. Haya mikutano ni ya kipeke. God knows why he called these meetings. Mungu anajua kwa nini aliita hii mikutano. God has something for somebody. Mungu ako na jambo kwa mtu fulani. He can't call these meetings for naught. Hawezi kuitana bila sababu. He called these meetings for a purpose. Alitana hii mikutano kwa kusudi fulani. Somebody is going to be delivered. Kama mtu hata amini. Somebody is going to be healed. Kuna mtu hapa ataponywa. Somebody is going to be anointed. Mwingine atatiwa mafuta. In these meetings. Kwa hizi mikutano. Father we thank you. Baba tu kushukuru. We give you praise. Kwa kuinua. We love you Father. Kwa kupenda Baba. We are on holy grounds. Tuko mahali takatifu. We invite Michael right now Jesus. Tunamwarika Mikaeli hapa. Make your presence known. Tunaomba uwepo wako utambulike. Make your power known. Tunaomba nguvu zake zitambulike. In the midst of your people. O, katika miongoni mwa watu wako let the weak find strength tonight na wanyonge tuombe wapate nguvu leo those who are poor in spirit wale ambao wa, wako na roho nyenyekevu may they be enriched tonight wale ambao ni wanyonge kwa roho touch the heart of the backslider na wafanywe tajiri hata walio rudi nyuma give us a real seven thunder revival tupatie ufufuo wa ngurumo saba let the sick be healed naomba wagonjwa wa waponywe let signs and wonders be wrought miujiza na ishara itendeke by the hand of your 
of your child Jesus. Confirm the anointing in the house. With signs and wonders following. And above it all. Give us a revelation. To find our place in Christ. We thank you dear father. We love you Lord. Bless the meetings in Kenya. These meetings. Is a turning point. These meetings is bringing new direction. No more confusion. But divine direction. So we know who we are. We know where we are coming from. And we know where we are going. That is Malachi's first message. God is a prophet to bring a message to make us confused. We are confused in those towers of Babel. Tongues of confusion. But you called us out of confusion into clarity. So we know where we are going, Father. We know what we are following. We are not following a man. We are following Christ. The same Christ in Malachi 4. The same angel in the prophet. The prophet went away. Malachi 4 went away. But the angel did not go away. The angel stayed behind. To give the bright direction. And Lord, we are behind this angel. This angel of light. And once we stay behind the angel, we cannot walk in darkness. Because that angel is the light. That God gave us. And that angel is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. And that angel is to bring us to the Word. So we know where we are going. It's back to the Word. So any spirit that takes us away from the Word, then we know that is not the angel. Because this angel. That Malachi 4 left us. It's supposed to take us back to the world. Because we, we are in the world. We came from the world. And we are going back to the world. So we stand here God tonight and we take authority over every spirit in this auditorium. We take authority over every spirit in this vicinity by the power of the Holy Ghost. We bring every spirit under our subjection because we are here. Sons of God are coming we love you father we bless you God lift up our spirit into heavenly places we love you father bless brother Karanja God will always find a man in every situation in every age he will find one man to so clean up the mess we thank, you for, we thank you for this brother may you anoint his faith I know many guns are coming against him. But you anointed his heart to stand for you and for you alone. We want him dear Jesus. We thank you Father. We love you God. And bless all the pastors of this meeting who went beyond the sun barrier. They went beyond the camp. Because the ambition is the kingdom of God. May you bless them, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We ask all this in Jesus' name. When let's all give clap for Jesus. Clap to You are blessed already. The anointing is in the house.
So I want to bring you greetings tonight. On behalf of my church and my wife and family. We say greetings to the convention. Maybe see it. There is no small meeting. What makes a meeting small? Is when the Holy Ghost is not present in that meeting. Because the quality of every meeting is defined by the speech that's in that meeting. And there is only one spirit that gives true quality to every meeting. And that is the Holy Spirit. So God bless you this evening. So thank you very much for coming. Because if you had not come, we wouldn't be able to preach. We can't preach to the empty benches. We are called to preach to the bride. And you are the bread of Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. May God bless you. I know it is tough in Kenya. Like every other place. Kama yoyote. So we are actually used to this. Kwa hivyo, haya. So for us, this is not really strange. Kwetu, the politics, Siasa, all the things that goes with it. Mambo yote yana, e, na haya mambo. None of us could actually think na sio, uh, kufikiria, that after God has sent a prophet, kufikiria ya kwamba baada ya Mungu kutuma nabi, and he is the last prophet. The seventh prophet. To bring out such a message. And, with the, and this message gave us a revelation. Of the two spirit. And the prophet went way back to the beginning. So you understand where it all started from. In Malachi foreshow sure the trail of the serpent. Way back from Eden. And how that spirit walked through the, the knowledge. Of good and evil. And only the prophet could see. The trail. Ile, 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 ile barabara. The footprints nyayo of that spirit. Nyayo za huyo roho. And how that spirit came way up into the whole thing. Na vile huyo roho alikuja, kwenye kila mahali. You can see that spirit in politics. Unaona yule, yule, uh, yu, yu roho kwenye siyasa. But that spirit also came into the church. Lakini hiyo roho pia ikaja kanisani. And we have to fight that spirit. Na nitatubiri tupigane na huyo roho. But on the other hand. It also shows how the spirit of Christ has been coming along as well. And how these two spirits are so similarly intertwined. And if you lack revelation, you will not be able to tell the difference. Because the Antichrist spirit keeps impersonating Kazi yake ni kuiga. the Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu. Because the Antichrist spirit knows Sababu roho Kristo anajua, that to deceive the elect ya kwamba kutanganya, kupotoza it has to impersonate so much of the Holy Spirit. Kupotoza wateure inabidi, aige, roho mtakatifu sana. Until you will see the Antichrist spirit uh, usipo, usipo tambua roho Christo, and think it is the Holy Spirit. Ni roho but God sent a prophet nabi, with the eyes of the eagle akiwa na macho ya, ya tai, to see these two spirits kus, way back from Eden. Pale and how those two spirits will end up na vile, hizi roho in the book of Revelation. Cha and we are finished with that. Na hayo. So you can't mean this message you can't be in this message and be deceived. It is impossible to come back into this message 
of the last angel and be deceived. Because all the mysteries of Christ, the Christo, of politics, the, siyasa, the church system, the kanisa, the Antichrist Christo, is all revealed. There is no mystery left unrevealed. He reveal every mystery. Even the mystery of who you are. So just in case you are doubting who you are, come into this message. God sends a prophet to tell you who you are. Mungu and where you come from. Na mahali we unatoka. Because it's good enough to know Christ. Kwa sababu ya to, ni vizuri kumjua eh, Christo. Know the Antichrist. Na kumjua mpiga Christo. Know the speakers of the world. Jua roho ya urimwengu. But sometimes you don't even know who you are. Lakini wakati mwingi hujitambui. So you are a part of the revelation that is revealed by Malachi 4. And when you know who you are, where you come from, where you are going, then the devil is no match for you anymore. So we stand here tonight because I'm trusting God that I'm talking to a people Nina imani na ngeresha watu that know who they are wanao jitambua they know where they are coming from wanajua wanatoka wapi they know where they are going na wanajua wanaenda wapi you are not kenyans sisi sio wana kenya you came from heaven ulitoka mbinguni you came from god utoka kwa mungu are you going back to god na unarudi kwa mungu somebody say hallelujah sema hallelujah you don't belong here wewe sio wa hapa the bible says we are only pilgrims and strangers biblia inasema sisi ni wasafiri na wageni so we are not citizens of here sisi sio our citizenship sisi sio wana taifa duniani is from another kingdom muji wetu ni wa so somebody shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. So therefore tonight we are going to worship. Tunaenda kuabudu. I mean this is over 50 years. Na hii ni zaidi ya mwaka 50. In the message. Ndani ya ujumbe. This is time for worship. Huu ni wakati wa This is time to shout. Huu ni wakati Somebody say hallelujah. Sifu na kuabudu. This is time to praise God. Huu ni wakati wa kumwabudu. Let God call you out. Mungu alikuita. He called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He called you out of confusion into clarity. <laughs> oh, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So therefore tonight Amen. I want to go behind my brother's message. We are on the same vein. Sisi tukona Mambo we came here as warriors. We came here as, we came here as warriors. Tulikuja hapa kama mashujaa. You are also a warrior tonight. Na pia wewe ni shujaa. And this warfare na hii vita is not against flesh and blood. Sio dhidi ya mwili na damu. It's not against your brother. Sio dhidi ya dugu yako. It's a war against spirit. Nini vita ya roho maroho so you cannot fight this war hawezi kupigana hii vita if you are not in the spirit kama hauko ndani ya roho so get in the spirit kwa hivyo ingia ndani ya roho then you become a warrior in the spirit ukuwe shujaa ndani ya dunia ya roho thank you jesus asante yesu so let's turn to our feet tonight tusimame let's all take our bibles tuchukue biblia zetu and let's all turn to Ephesians chapter 6. To some wa Efeso ukurasa wa sita. Ephesians chapter 6. Efeso ukurasa wa sita. Okay. I want these brothers to read it for me, so let me go and get his Bible. This morning, Brother Theo speak, spoke on war in heaven. Asubuhi ya leo ndugu Theo aliongea juu ya vita. And that message became a keystone message for these meetings. Of preparation ground. God getting you ready for the real war that you have to fight when you get to Ephesians. And so therefore tonight we will continue the same vein because this war 
is forced to follow war in heaven. It's forced to follow a war that was fought by angels. So Michael has fought this war. Angels have fought this war. Malaika wamewahi kupigana hii vita. You are the next to fight this war. Na sasa ni kipindi chako kupigana hii vita. And you will be the last one to fight this war. Na wewe ndio wa mwisho kupigana hii vita. And you will bring this war to an end. Na wewe ndio utakomesha hii vita. That's how important you are in this war. Hivyo ndivyo ulio wa maalumu na muhimu katika hii vita. So God has a place for us to fight this war. Kwa hivyo Mungu akona nafasi yetu ya kupigana hii vita. That is in another Ephesians. Na mahali pa kupigania uwanja ni Efeso nyingine. Amen and amen. Amen. So brother, help me with Ephesians chapter 6 from verse. Kwa hivyo ndugu nisaidie kusoma au Efeso 6 are so small. Ah uh, haya maandishi ni madogo right. sana. Now start from verse okay. Yes, go on. Yes. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Verse 14. Stand therefore having your loins guard about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness Verse 15, and you were fit, stu stood with the prepa uh, preparation of the gospel of peace. Verse 16, about all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Hmm. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. That's verse 19. And for me that utterance may be given Amen. unto me may I, uh, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of of the gospel. Thank you. All right, let me see that. So I, I, I have a small title. War in Heaven, Part 2. Vita Binguni Awamu Yapiri. Now tell your friend, War in Heaven, Part 2. Ni kwanini ni Awamu Yapiri. Now sit one more time, War in Heaven, Part 2. Na kichwa changu nirudie ni Vita ya Binguni Awamu Yapiri. Kenya will not be the same again. Kenya to our penda to ambi tena. Hallelujah. Amen. See, amen to that. Amen. I said Kenya. Nasema Kenya will not be the same again. Haita kuwa vile irikuwa tena. Now verse twelve of that same chapter reads, "For we rest not against flesh and blood." Mustari wa kumi na mbiri tu mesoma ya kuamba hatu pigani vita vya miri na dam. So this our war. He irikuwa ni aina ya vita. Is not against flesh. Or against blood. Na isio ya mwiri na damu. Not fighting a man. Sio kupigana na wanadamu. Whether even if it is, if it is your enemy. Dugu ata kama ni adui wako. God says love your enemy. Mungu na sema. So we're taking this war beyond man. Zaidi ya wanadamu. Hallelujah. Amen. We are taking this war into the spirit. Hi vita tunavierekeza katika anga za roho. Now I will say some, some things this evening to you. Nita nena mambo fulani alasi jioni ya leo. To prepare your mind. Kutayarisha mafikira yako. For what God is about to do. Vire mungu anayerekea kutenda. Praise God, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to understand. Itakubidi uelewe. 
that you can't win spiritual warfare ya kwamba huwezi kupigana na kushinda vita vya kiroho by using carnal weapons kwa kutumia siraha za kikawaida za kimwili we are not politicians sisi sio wanasiasa politicians use weapons of diplomacy uh, uh, wanasiasa wanatumia vifaa vya kidunia to fight their political wars ndio waweze kupigana vita vyao vya kisiasa but christians lakini wa kristo we are given a weapon tumekabidhiwa siraha it is called the armor of god na inaitwa ngao ya mungu so if you have to fight a spiritual war kwa hivyo kama utapigana vita vya kiroho you've got to be spiritually armed itakubidi uwe tayari umejivika kiroho if you try to fight a spiritual war ukijaribu kupigana vita vya kiroho with carnal weapons and instrument na siraha za kikawaida za kidunia you will fail utashindwa but god has no intentions for you to fail na mungu hakukusudi kushindwa because this bride cannot fail kwa sababu huyu bibi harusi hakukusudiwa kushindwa because we are called to fight a battle kwa hivyo tumeitwa tupigane aina ya vita that has been already fought vita ambayo tayari iko imepigana and already won hey ilikuwa imepiganwa na ikashindwa so we have the assurance kwa hivyo jihami we cannot lose the war hatuwezi kushindwa because the fighters of this war kwa sababu wanya kupigana hivi vita have not been replaced ni wale 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 hawajabadilishwa they are just the same old fighters ni wale 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 mashujaa wa kupigana it's the same old demons na wale ambao tunapigana nao the only thing they've succeeded to do yale 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 mapepo yamewahi kupigwa na kushindwa fine what, what these demons have just done vile haya mapepo yamefanya they've just improved their tactics wameboresha mienendo yao chenga zao but paul says we are not ignorant lakini sisi sio wapumbavu of their devices ya kwa mwandamo wao those devices actually means thought kule kuandama kwao kuna maanisha mafikira so we are not afraid to fight this war kwa hivyo hatuogopi basi kupigana hii vita are you afraid to fight wewe ni muoga are you afraid to fight unauoga unauoga i'm not seeing that tonight are you afraid to fight Nauriza mnao uoga kupigana hii vita This is a legitimate war. Hii vita imetiwa sahihi na mkuu wa vita vyote. You have no choice in the matter. Na hatuna njia nyingine. You have to fight. Imeidhinishwa lazima upigane. Because if you don't fight, usipofanya hivyo, Satan will fight you. Shetani atakupiga and he will kill you. Na atakuua. The devil's intention. Lengo la shetani is to fight you to death. Ni kukupiga na kukuua. You cannot sit there, huwezi kukaa pale and die as a coward. Ukufe ukiwa muoga, a brave soldier. Askari ambayo ni shujaa a real soldier Askari imara he will say death Aki... without this honor Akiona kifo ana jihami that means a real soldier lakini askari wa kweli will prefer to die ataamua kufa than to be dishonored kuliko kuaibishwa so we can't be dishonored kwa hivyo huwezi kuwa muoga So you can sit there, kwa hivyo huwezi kukaa tu hapo and decide not to fight. Na useme mimi sitapigana because you did not call for this fight. Kwa sababu hukuja kupigana. You did not pray for this fight. Kwa sababu hukuombea hii vita, but the fight has come to you. Utafanya nini na vita imekuja mahali umekaa? So what do you do? Utafanya nini? If somebody leaves his own apartment, mtu akitoka kwa nyumba yake and comes to your house aingie kwa nyumba yako and acts to fight you na kupigia asema nataka kukupigia kwa nyumba yako what will you do if you are a man utafanya nini ukiwa mwanaume if you are a man enough kama wewe ni mwanaume kamili you can leave your house and run huwezi kutoroka kwa nyumba yako utorokee vita kwa nyumba yako you tell that man 
Unamwambia aliyekuandama is my house. Unamwambia hapa ni kwangu nyumbani. I'm going to fight you back. Na mimi sasa tutapigana. So my brother Kenyans. Kwa hivyo ndugu wangu, this is my revival. Hii ni ufufio wangu. This seven thunders. Guru Mosaba is my revival. Ni ufufuo wangu. This seven thunders. Huu ufufuo wa Guru Mosaba is my name. Ni jina langu. This seven thunders. He Guru Mosaba is my rapture. Ni unyakuzi kwangu. So no bishop. Kwa hivyo hapana bishop. No pope. Hapana pope will take me out of my house. Atanitoa kwa nyumba. I'm ready to fight. Hakuna. Niko tayari kupigana kwa sababu somebody shout hallelujah. Sababu Guru Mosaba dio vita. This is my revival. Na ufufuo wa Guru Mosaba dio ufufuo wangu. That's why I'm asking you. Dio sababu ninawauliza. If you're ready to fight. Kama mko tayari because the fight has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And tonight na usiku wa leo we are going to slay devils. Tunaenda kukatakata mapepo. We are going to cut them into ribbons. Tunaenda kuzikatakata mapepo. Demons of sickness, mapepo ya ugonjwa, demons of unbelief, mapepo ya kutoamini, demons of reasoning, mapepo ya mafikira. Tonight usiku wa leo God has found some warriors. Mungu amepata mashujaa. He's found some fighters in Kenya. Amepata mashujaa wa vita Kenya. We are going to fight. Wako tayari kupigana. We are going to fight. Tunaenda kupigana. If you are sick tonight, kama wewe umgonjwa, get ready to fight. Uko tayari kupigana because that sickness will leave you tonight. Kwa sababu ule ugonjwa lazima uondoke leo. If you are under oppression, kama wewe uko umefinyiriwa sana you cannot feel joy uwezi kupata kazi you feel you are bound unasikia umefungwa you are going to go free tonight utawekwa huru leo the spirit of god is upon me tonight roho wa mungu ako juu yangu usiku wa leo and the devil knows that tonight na shetani anatambua hivyo leo this is the end of his life in your life huu ndio mwisho wa shetani maishani mwako you are going back anointed unarudi nyumbani ukiwa mtiwa mafuta you are going back knowing who you are utarudi nyumbani ukijitambua somebody shout hallelujah nani somebody shout hallelujah sema hallelujah So therefore, sema hallelujah. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Nataka kuwahimiza. I know it's not easy to fight. Najua vita sio rahisi. Because when war comes, kwa sababu vita vinapokuja, it comes with fear. Linakuja na uoga because always the other side, kwa sababu wakati wote ngambo ile ingine, they used the most powerful tool wanatumia siraha zenye uwezo wa juu the tool of propaganda siraha ya uwezo wa juu inaitwa siraha ya uvumi because you see my country has fought a 10 year war unaona nchi yangu imepigana vita vya miaka kumi. most of the victories on the enemy side na ushindi mwingi katika kambi ya adui was by the use of this weapon ni kwa kupitia hii siraha called propaganda. Siraha inaitwa uvumi usio wa kweli. A lot of times, wakati mwingi, they will send a message. Wagetuma ujumbe. That right now we are marching down to Freetown. <laughs> ya kwamba sasa hivi tunaingia mji wa Freetown. And they will say we are 10,000 strong. Na wagesema tuko askari elfu kumi wenye uj ujasiri. They will even say we are almost few kilometers to the city. Na wangesema tumebaki kilomita chache tuingie kwenye mji sasa. But it's all propaganda. Lakini yote ni uongo. When it comes to reality, lakini ukweli ukweli they might not even up to a thousand. Hata sio hao watu hata sio 1000. But propaganda, lakini uvumi wa uongo is based on lies. 
uvumi msingi wake ni so wewe we stand in this warfare kwa hivyo huwezi kukaa katika hii vita most things you hear mali yale mambo unasikia is all propaganda ni uvumi the angel is not there is there ni uvumi ya kwamba malaika hayuko kwa hii kambi ako kwa ile kambi ingine the angel is with this group not Malai- with that group <laughs> it's propaganda <laughs> ati malaika ako na kundi letu kwenu malaika hayuko but when it comes down to reality lakini ukweli kina raubaga you will realize they don't even have the angel there unaelewa hata hakuna malaika because where the angel is sababu mahali malaika ako where the angel is mahali malaika aliko there is a manifestation kuna madhihirisho because the prophet said hey. <laughs> hallelujah oh, hallelujah praise god Hallelujah. Hey. I'm excited tonight. Amen. Mimi ni mwenye raha leo jioni. But that is the greatest weapon. Hiyo ndiyo siraha ya juu sana. Because with propaganda. Kwa sababu katika hali ya uvumi. You can defeat your enemy. Unaweza kumshida adui without one gun shot. Ukipitia jia ya uvumi wa uongo. Like for free town uka unaweza kumshinda adui wako bila kulipua risasi hata moja utamshinda na uoga there was a time in freetown kuna wakati kule freetown when the rebels said wakati waasi walisema they were 30000 strong walikuwa ni 1030 and that they have almost surrounded the city na tayari wameuviringa ule mji We did not see one soldier. Hatukuona askari hata mmoja. We did not see one rebel. Hatukuona mwasi hata mmoja. We started packing our things. Lakini kwa sababu ya uoga, tuliingia kwa masanduku kuweka nguo zetu tutoroke. We started running. Tulianza kukimbia. Even when our own soldiers were telling us, hata hata askari wetu wetu walituambia that don't run. Musitoroke. We said no. Tukakata the rebels are 30000 strong. Tunaamini hawa ni 1030 na wako na nguvu. And you only 5000. Na nyinyi askari wa, wa, wa serikali ni 5000 tu. How can 5000 soldiers fight 30000 rebels? 1500 watapigana na 1030 yaje. But you know what? Unajua? When it came to the showdown. Wakati wakati yule mambo ya kuwekwa uwazi. Those rebels we are not even up to 1000. Hawa waasi hata waku wamefika elfu moja. That is what propaganda does. Hivyo ndivyo uvumi wa uongo unafanya. Politicians use it. Politicians use it. Wana siasa hutumia uvumi. So we understand the enemy's devices. Kwa hivyo haya yanatuambia tunaelewa miandamo ya adui. So all this thing going on propaganda haya mambo yote yanavyoendeshwa huku na huku na huku as to who is in the bright ya kwamba ni nani aliye ndani ya bibi harusi and who is not in the bright ni nani hayuko ndani ya bibi harusi who knows who, who's the, who the bride is ni nani anayetambua haya mambo yote your names were sealed up under the seventh seal majina yenu yalitiwa muhuri chini ya muhuri wa saba yamefichwa huko only but the Branham only but the Branham ni dugu Branham was given the key access peke yake aliruhusiwa kuingia huko so the names in the book aingie kwenye majina chini ya Mungu Theo said this morning vile Drew Theo alisema asubuhi ya leo your name in the book is the word ya kwamba jina lako kwenye kitabu ni neno and the word is a mystery na pia hili neno ndilo siri yako and it has to be revealed to you personally na inabidi ufunuliwe mwenyewe binafsi hallelujah amen so this is all message propaganda kwa hivyo hii uvumi wote but one thing i know lakini jambo moja ninajua i know i am a son of god ninajua mimi ni mwana wa mungu i know i am anointed with the holy ghost ninajua nimetiwa mafuta i know i'm a bride member ninajua mimi ni bibi harusi I know that my name Ninajua hili ni jina langu is not in the regular section 
haliko katika sehemu ya uhai wa kawaida my name is in the eternal section jina langu liko sehemu ya umilele because the holy spirit follows me wherever i go unifuata mahali popote niendao and as many as are led by the spirit na wengi baadhi wayawaliongozwa are the sons of god hawa ndio wana wa mungu so this night kwa hivyo jioni ya leo the holy spirit from takatifu is going to lead you atakuongoza we are not here we are not here hatuko hapa we are not messengers to tell you who is in the bride who is not in the bride sisi sio mitume tukuambie nani ako ndani nani ako nje ya bibi harusi who has the angel who does he have the angel nani aliye na malaika nani hana malaika we have been taught to know who the angel is we have been taught tumefundishwa by a prophet na nabii to know kujua what the angel is mahali malaika ako And once you are here na ukipo hapa the angel is here Kama uko hapa malaika ako hapa Now listen Skiza when people tell you wakati watu wanakuambia that because you are in that church kwa sababu wewe uko ile kanisa you have left the angel umewacha malaika they are insulting your calling they are insulting your calling They are insulting wanatusi mwito wako. They are insulting your intelligence. Wanatusi fahamu wako. And that gets me upset. Na hiyo sasa hainipendezi. Because God saved me. Kwa sababu Mungu aliniokoa. Before I came into this message. Bele ya kuingia kwenye ujumbe. I received the Holy Ghost baptism. Nikabatizwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Way back as a Pentecostal. Nikiwa mpendekote. God telling me. Mungu akiniambia that I am in his mind. Ya kwamba nilikuwa kwenye mafikira yake. So I came into this message. Kwa hivyo nilikuja kwenye huu ujumbe not to be saved. Sio kuokolewa. I came into this message. Nilikuja kwa huu ujumbe to be in the bride. Niingie ndani ya bibi harusi. Hey. And no man can talk me out of the bride. Hapana mtu yeyote anaweza kunitoa because God called me. Kwa sababu Mungu alinitoa katika ujumbe. Hallelujah. Amen. And you have to feel that way. Na ni vizuri kuhisi vivyo. That is why my prayer for you. Na ndio sababu maombi yangu kwako is that you receive the holy ghost ni ya kwamba ubatizwe na roho takatifu because the holy ghost kwa sababu roho mtakatifu is the spiritual anchor yeye ndiye 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 ngao yako ya kiroho that is your anchor in heaven yeye ndiye ngao yako hata mbinguni even though down here you can be tossed hapa chini unaweza kupeperushwa peperushwa but your anchor lakini ngao yako holds within the veil. Ngao yako wewe hutia nanga ndani ya bere ya pasia. Satan can mess up your mind. Shetani anaweza kupot, uh, kuchafua mafikira yako. He can make you doubt. Anaweza kukufanya uwe mwenye mashaka. But your doubt will not lead to disbelief. Lakini your doubt mashaka yako will not lead to unbelief. Hayawezi kuwa kutoa mbini because there's an anchor kwa sababu kuna nanga and before you leave here tonight na kabla hujatoka hapa jioni ya leo take this only cause business seriously angalia hii jambo ya roho mtakatifu kwa makini because if you don't have the only cause in your soul kwa sababu usipokuwa na roho mtakatifu kwa nafsi yako you will always be tossed about wewe utayumba yumbishwa utayumba yumbishwa hapa na pale you will not have a steady faith utakuwa utatia nanga but once the holy ghost comes on the inside kwa sababu roho mtakatifu huja ndani you are connected back to god in some way basi umeunganika na mungu tena and that is my burden na hiyo ndio mwito wangu for every meeting 
na hiyo ndiyo mwito wangu na shauku yangu that kila baptized with the holy ghost ya kwamba waaminiwa wabatizwe because the holy ghost baptism kwa sababu ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu spiritual journey ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu ndio mwanzo wa safari yako you young people here tonight nyinyi vijana siku ya leo i got saved Mwabamu yokolewa at your age. Mimi niliokolewa nikiwa vijana. I got saved. Kama nyinyi na tangu siku hiyo. I gave my heart to the Lord. Nilipeana roho yangu kwa Bwana. I never took my heart back. Sikuitoa. So God is coming into these meetings. Kwa hivyo Mungu anakuja mikutano hii to seal your faith. Kutia imani yako mhuri. I challenge you that tonight. Na kuhimiza jioni ya leo. The Holy Ghost is still pouring out. Roho mtakatifu bado anaitana because you are sons kwa sababu nafsi zenu God is here tonight Mungu wako hapa miongoni mwetu to give you the holy ghost na ako hapa kukubatiza because without the holy ghost kwa sababu pasipo roho mtakatifu you are just an animal wewe ni mnyama tu that is intelligent mnyama mwenye akili you are just an animal wewe ni mnyama that is working on two feet anatembea na miguu miwili it's when the holy ghost comes lakini roho mtakatifu anapokujia you become a two fold being unakuwa kiumbe kina utatu ndani yako the god part in you is quickened sehemu ya tatu ndani yako inahuishwa you become a living son of god wewe unafanyika mwana wa mungu aishie the living for god becomes joy basi kumuishia mungu kunakuwa ni furaha then you are no more under confusion na huwezi kuchanganyikwa tena because the holy ghost in you kwa sababu roho mtakatifu ndani yako creates a channel yeye mwenyewe anaunda njia between you and god kukuunganisha na Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is a real war. Na hiyo sasa ndiyo vita ya kweli yako. That's a real war. Hiyo ndiyo vita ya kweli. But the fear said this morning. But the fear said this morning. Ndugu Theo alisema hivi asubuhi ya leo. That the real war we are to fight. Ya kwamba shujaa wa vita kweli. But the prophet said that. Biblia alisema hivyo. In a certain sound. Katika uh, ujumbe naitwa uh, sauti ambayo uh, haieleweki that is the coming of the lord ni kuja kwa bwana what that actually means hivyo inamaanisha hivi all of the spirits we are talking about hizi roho zote tunaongea juu yake they have one purpose zina kusudi moja their purpose kusudi lao is to stop you is to stop you ni kukukwaza from making the rapture usiweze kuhitimu unyakuzi because they, they are going to afflict you more kwa sababu yatakufanya usijisikie mnyonge zaidi for three and a half years of great tribulation ndio hukumu iweze kujengeka ndani yako now they can't afflict you like they want to afflict you lakini sasa hayana nafasi ya kukuhukumu because the blood of jesus is here kwa sababu damu ya yesu iko hapa we are still here bado tuko hapa to cast them out tukuyatupa nje by the blood kuyakemea kwa damu but there's a coming a time kunakuja wakati when the blood of jesus wakati damu ya yesu shall be taken out of the earth itatolewa duniani because when abraham said babu du nabii anasema the blood damu is the church ni kanisa by the spirit kwa dia ya roho that means the blood is here lakini damu ikuwepo hapa because the bright church is here. Damu iko hapa kwa sababu bibi harusi hajaondoka because you represent the blood. Sababu wewe unawakilisha damu. So wherever you are, wherever you are. Mahali popote ulipo, the blood is there. Damu ipo. And the blood today, na damu leo is not the chemistry. Sio sio ile uh, uh, kemikali. The blood is the spirit. Damu ni roho. So if you feel the spirit, that is not a man. That is not a man. That is the blood. The blood is the spirit. So when the blood is taken out of the earth, when the bride goes out of the earth, this earth is left without blood. Hii dunia inabaki bila damu. 
You can't cast out devils anymore. Huwezi kukemea mapepo tena. The sick can't be healed anymore. Wagonjwa hawawezi kuponywa tena. Then is going to afflict this world. Shaitani ata ata atatawara hii dunia with all kinds of diseases. Na magonjwa ya aina yote. Even when cancer hata wakati sartari will be so common like toothache. Itakuwa kama ni kuumwa na jino. Hell shall be loosed on the earth. Hell shall be loosed. Kuzimu kutasambaratika duniani. So the devil knows that. Kwa hivyo shetani anajua hivyo. That is why he has assigned demons. Ndio sababu amepea mapepo wajibu to stop you ndio akukwaze from making the resurrection. Usiweze kuhitimu kwenye unyakuzi. And God sent a prophet na Mungu basi akakutumia na message akiwa na ujumbe so you can escape ndio uweze kupotea kupata nafasi the coming onslaught of the enemy kupata nafasi ya kuondokea gharika ya kuja kwa adui but it's a battle lakini ni vita so all these things going around kwa hivyo haya mambo yote yanaenezwa kila mahali it is not the man sio mtu it is not the pastor sio mchungaji it's your spirits ni roho that support the pastor ni roho iko ndani ya mchungaji that divides the brotherhood inatawanya udugu the pastor can be a fine man mchungaji anaweza kuwa mtu mzuri sana but the spirit comes on him lakini roho furani inamjia and takes over his human spirit inachukua roho ubinadamu and the spirit uses his flesh nayo roho inatumia mwili wake to bring division kureta matawanyiko so you can't fight the man you cannot fight the man kwa hivyo huwezi kupiga huyo mtu the man himself is a nice man is a good man mwenyewe ni mtu mzuri but a spirit has come upon him lakini roho furani imembatiza to fight against you dio akupige hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah hallelujah that's the real truth hiyo ndio ukweli so in your heart kwa hivyo ndani ya roho yako you can't make your brother your enemy huwezi kufanya ndugu yako adui you must have plenty of brotherly kindness ni lazima uwe na upendano wa udugu you must have plenty of love uwe na upendo mwingi if your brother is in error kama ndugu ameanguka kwenye makosa don't use his fallen state usitumie kule kuanguka kwake to your advantage uji uweze kuchukua sifa na kule kuanguka to destroy him further ya kumwangamiza huyo ndugu because it could have been you kwa sababu wajuanje haingekuwa ni wewe it could have been me ingekuwa ni mimi but it's just the grace of god lakini ni neema ya Mungu so go on your knees kwa hivyo enda kwenye magoti and say lord sema bwana that is my brother huyu ni ndugu yangu he used to be a fine man alikuwa ndugu mzuri we are all together tulikuwa pamoja but today he hates me lakini leo ananichukia he want to kill me anataka kuniua that can't be the brother huyu hawezi kuwa ni ndugu cuz i know the brother huyu ndugu ninamjua was not like that ha, ye hayuko hivyo something has changed him nikubadilika na badilika he should be the spirit huyo ndiye lazima yeye ni roho so hallelujah moja asante hallelujah amen because what those devils are doing kwa sababu vile haya mapepo yanafanya they come and hide behind skin yanakuja yanajificha nyuma ya ngozi so we will not fight them ndio tusiyapige because they know kwa sababu yanajua that for many of us kwa wengi wetu we don't know spiritual things Hatu, hatuna ufafanuzi wa mambo ya kiroho we only go by the reasoning tunaenda kwa njia ya kiakili tu those demon spirits know that haya mapepo yanajua hivyo so they understand kwa hivyo inabidi uelewe that if they enter in by the john ya kwamba yakiingia ndani ya ndugu john you will not see them hutayaona what you see is by the john vile utamuona ndugu john because they know if you if you, you can cast them out sababu yanajua ukiyaona utayakemea so they, they keep hiding kwa hivyo yanapenda sana kujificha even so in the message hata zaidi ndani ya ujumbe and when they do that yakipenda hivyo they use flesh yanatumia nyama to hurt you to hurt you kukudhuru 
What are they trying to achieve? Yanataka kupokea faida gani? They want to bitter your spirit. Wanataka roho yako iwe sugu. So if a brother speaks evil against me, dio dugu akinena kinyume changu, I know it is not a brother. Najua sio huyo dugu. Listen. Skiza. Plenty of the brothers today. Plenty of the brothers today. Plenty. Plenty of them. Plenty of the brothers. Oh, wandugu wengi leo. We are all ministers together. Sisi ni wahuduma pamoja. I preach on the same pulpit with them many years ago. Nimehubiri mibara na hawa miaka mingi sana. Nice sweet brothers. Wandugu wa pendwa sana. But down through the years, lakini safari inapoendelea ya miaka, something happened. Jambo fulani linatendeka. A circumstance took place. Mazingara fulani yanatendeka. A spirit came into the situation. Mazingara fulani yakaundika na roho fulani akaingilia yale mazingara. And a spirit na roho fulani took over their spirit. Roho fulani ikaja na ikachukua roho zao. And now they are coming against me. Na sasa wananipiga. Even though I have not done them anything. Igawaje sijawatendea lolote. But you see I have discernment. Lakini unaona mimi ninakupambanua maroho because I understand the spirit. Kwa sababu mimi ninayaelewa maroho. I'll tell you something. Takwambia jambo. Many of them wengi wao God will have to deliver them. Mungu itabidi awakomboe. They will come back to you. Watakukujia and say brother sorry. Wakwambie ndugu nisamehe. With tears from their eyes. Wakiwa na machozi. Mark my words today. Weka alama kwa maneno yangu leo. Because when that great season comes on the bride. Kwa sababu ile hale majira makuu yatakapo mjia bibi harusi. When God begins to bless sons of God. Mungu atakapoanza kufanya wana wa Mungu wana. But the Branham said. Dubu Branham anasema, we will go after the lost in this message. Tutaendea waliopotea katika huu ujumbe. So I have a ministry. Kwa hivyo niko na huduma. That in this message. Katika huu ujumbe. I have to go after the lost. Itanibidi ni waende walio potea ndani ya huu ujumbe. Those who have been deceived. Wale ambao wamendaga nyika. Because when the real faithful ministry comes. Kwa sababu ile huduma tano ya kweli itakapoingia kwa uwanja with the seed germ in them wakiwa na ile mbegu ya uhai ndani yao they will look for those souls watatafuta hizo nafsi in prison the nafsi zilizo korokoroni plenty souls in this message nafsi nyingi sana katika ujumbe are in prison houses ziko katika korokoro they don't have their own free will anymore Hawana hisia zao tena. A man has to tell them where to go. Ah, mwingine itabidi awaongoze. A man tells them where not to go. Mwanadamu ndiye anawaongoza, muende hapa, musiende hapa. I mean that is a prison. Hiyo ni jera. God did not make you that way. Mungu hatendi kazi hivyo. God gave you free will. Mungu alikupea nia. That is your Wazi. design. That is how God made you. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu alikuumba and all the, these souls na hizi nafsi zote they are locked up in prisons they are in prisons ziko katika jela of interpretations ziko katika jela ya utafsiri kombo prisons under the wrong shepherds prisons jela under under the wrong shepherds oh wako katika jela chini ya uh, uh, wachungaji ambao wako chini ya makosa But there is a true ministry coming. Lakini kuna huduma ya kweli iko barabarani. The ministry of Jesus Christ. Huduma ya Yesu Kristo. A faithful ministry. Huduma ya huduma tano. With the seed charm. Ikiwa na mbegu ya uhai. When that ministry comes. Wakati hiyo huduma itaingia. There is a third pole. Kutakuwa mvuto wa tatu. Of the ministry. Ya uvuto wa ya to go back to souls in prison. Kitakuwa ni mvuto wa tatu ndio hiyo huduma ianze kutafuta nafsi zilizo korokoroni. Brenham, Dugu Brenham, in faith is works, works is faith expressed. Katika ujumbe anaitwa imani ni matendo kidhihirika. Aliona ono.
Aliona Ono. Aliona Ono. Na katika lile Ono. Aliona watu baadhi ya watu fulani wakiwa ndani ya jera. He said those bars were like eight inches thick. Akasema hizo chuma za milango ya jera zilikuwa ni kama inchi nane. And people were locked up behind those bars. Upana wa inchi nane wakiwa jera. Trying to come out. Wanatajaribu kutoka jera. And Brother Branham said, Brother Branham anasema, in trying to come out, wanajaribu kutoka kizuizuini. They were butting their heads against those bars. Walikuwa wanagongesha vichwa vyao kwa, kwa hizo chuma. Wanajaribu kutoka. They were trying to pull the bars apart. Walikuwa wanajaribu kungoa hizo chuma. And they were calling the prophet, come and help us. Come and Wakiita help us. Wakiita nabii, jo tusaidie, jo tusaidie. And Brother Branham said, I can't. Dubu Branham akasema siwezi. Some were strong enough to come out. Some were strong enough. Wengi wao wengine walikuwa na nguvu wakaweza kutoka kizuizini to come out wakatoka but others could not wengine hawangeweza but all of a sudden lakini ghafra the pillar of fire came on the prophet mwahari wa moto kamjia nabii hallelujah amen that is a real ministry hiyo sasa ndio huduma ya kweli that was God showing the prophet ya kwamba Mungu alizoesha nabii that there are other souls in prison ya kwamba kuna nafsi zingine kizuizini that this message ndani ya huu ujumbe will have to go after ambazo itabidi uwaede because in this message today kwa sababu katika huu ujumbe leo the so called ministers wale ambao wanaitwa wahuduma have put prison bars bars wameweka hizi milango za chuma kubwa sana bars of interpretation milango ya tafsiri kombo because the angel told the prophet kwa sababu malaika alimwambia nabii what those bars are alimwonyesha hizo milango za chuma ziko wapi he said those bars kamwambia hizo milango represent the people represent zanawakilisha watu they can't understand hawezi ku, ku, kuelewa confuse people zinakuja kuchanganya watu trying to use their head watumie akili zao to but against the bars dio waza kugonga hizo hizo chuma because they don't know kwa sababu it will take the pillar of fire itabidi muhari wa moto so in this message katika huu ujumbe basi plenty people watu wengi are still held behind bars bando wanazuiriwa na hizo milango ya nguvu of interpretation milango ya tafsiri in this message katika huu ujumbe but as a faithful minister kutakuwa na huduma tano with a pillar of fire ikiwa na muhari wa moto with a siege ikiwa na begu ndani yao we are going after those souls ambao wataendea zile nafsi whether it's your father hata kama ni baba whether it's your mother awe mama whether it's your brother awe mchana we are going after them tunawaendea they're not going to be lost hawatapotea hallelujah hallelujah i don't care where they are tutaenda mpaka mahali wa holy spirit hey the holy spirit roho mtakatifu the anointing Mupako. The pillar of fire Muhali wa moto is coming back anarudi on a faithful ministry juu ya huduma tano and somebody shout hallelujah na mo hallelujah tupiga shangwe so hallelujah so listen listen skiza i keep saying this narudia rudia hii to all ministers kwa huduma wote this season this season majira haya is a trying season ni majira ya kujaribiwa for the bride kwa sababu ya harusi God is looking at our hearts. Mungu anatazama roho zetu. Christ said in Matthew 5, Yesu alisema Mathayo 5, He said blessed kubarikiwa are the pure in heart. Ni walio na roho safi, they shall see God. Watamuona Mungu. And it is brotherly kindness. Brotherly kindness. Na upendano wa ndugu to make your heart pure ndio utafanya roho yako kuwa safi We cannot see God which is charity huwezi kumuona Mungu aliye ndiye upendo until the kindness mpaka upendano wa undugu has purified our hearts uingie ndani ya roho zetu That is why ndio sababu charity jiwe la kirere upendo which is God na ni Mungu is right on top of the kindness 
anakalia upendano wa undugu so you cannot see the holy ghost so you wezi kumwona roho mtakatifu you cannot see god wezi kumwona mungu until your heart is pure mpaka roho yako ni safi until in your heart na ni ndani ya roho yako you can say i forgive you unaweza kusema na kusamehe you can say in your heart unaweza kusema ndani ya roho yako that i love you ninakupenda ndugu even though you know that brother is against you ingawaje unajua huyo ndugu hakupendi but god is looking at your heart mungu anaangalia roho yako bado if your heart is not pure kama roho yako sio safi you will never see god utamuona mungu you will only see a man utakuona mtu tu so we have to forgive kwa hivyo itanubidi tusamehe we call this meetings tuliita hii mkutano many of them did not come wengi labda hawangekuja but after the meetings lakini baada ya mkutano we are going back to them tunawarudia and we will say god bless you brother tutawaambia wengi hawakuja huu mkutano baada ya mkutano huu tutaenda kuwatafuta tuwasalimie tuwaambie Mungu akubariki dugu we are not going to be upset hatuta 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 wakasirikia because they did not come to our meetings ati kwa sababu walikataa kuja mkutano God did not ordain them to come to the meetings. Mungu hakuwaona wakija hii mikutano. God ordained you to come to the meetings. Mungu alikuona wewe ndio utakuja. Your heart is pure. Kwa hivyo roho yako ni safi. There is no veil over your heart. Huna machungu kwa roho yako. Many of them refuse to come to the meetings. Wengi wangekataa kuja mkutano because in their heart is a veil. Kwa sababu ndani ya roho zao kunayo pasia. They have something against me. Wako na wako na maoni fulani dhidi yangu against brother karanja wanamuona brother karanja kwa jia fulani against brother theo wanamuona ndugu theo kwa jia fulani against somebody here nyume ya kinyume cha mmoja wetu hapa that's a veil hiyo ni pasia but we have no veil lakini sisi tuko wazi but you have no veil hatuna pasia you come to the meetings ulikuja kwa mikutano not to see brother conte sio kuona ndugu conte not to see brother theo sio kuona ndugu theo you come to the meetings ulikuja kwa mikutano to see god kumuona mungu to see god kumuona mungu hallelujah hallelujah no veil amen now stay this way sasa ka hivyo hivyo keep your heart pure na uweke roho yako ikiwa safi. It is not an easy path. Hii sio jia rahisi. It's a hard way. Ni jia yenye majaribio. It's a narrow way. Ni jia yenye mbamba. But few there be. Lakini wachache that shall find it. Wataipata hii jia. And the few the few watakuona that shall find it. Wachache watakuona at the end of the road. Na mwisho wa barabara. They find it and life watapata uzima wa milele so this path kwa hivyo hii barabara abunde kindness hii barabara nyembamba ya upendano wa undugu is a straight path ni barabara nyembamba sana straight nyembamba is spelled s t r w i t nyembamba tafsiri yake ni uembamba ni barabara duni is a difficult path ni barabara ngumu hata kupata mahali utaweka nyayo zako but we have to go through the path lakini tutubidi tupitie hiyo jia to keep our hearts pure tuweke roho zetu zikiwa safi because if your heart is not pure kwa sababu roho yako isipokuwa safi i don't care how many times you jump sijali utaruka mara ngapi you will never see god hutamuona mungu because the scriptures kwa sababu maandiko cannot be broken yawezi kuvunjwa blessed is the man kubarikiwa ni yule blessed is he kubarikiwa ni yule that is pure roho yake ni safi he shall see god watamuona mungu so hallelujah sema hallelujah so come to these meetings kwa hivyo kuja hii mikutano we can open hearts na roho imefunguliwa because we can't fight this war kwa sababu huwezi kupigana hii vita with bitterness ukiwa na machungu we can't fight this war huwezi kupigana hii vita with hatred ukiwa na chuki against the brother dhidi ya ndugu yako against the church dhidi ya kanisa hallelujah hallelujah the bible said biblia inasema if your brother of ndugu yako akikukosea if you can't keep it kama huwezi kuweka haya go to the brother mwende and say brother mwambie ndugu you offended me umenikosea you are not saying that 
You are not saying that Husemi ya kwamba to get a sorry from him. Sio ate unahitaji akwambie sorry. If he says sorry, akisema sorry, fine. Sawa. But if he doesn't say sorry, kama hasemi sorry, you have released your spirit. Wewe umeachilia roho yako. Usafi umeulinda. So if somebody hurts me, mtu akinidhuru, I will go to you. Nitamuendea. And say, brother, you have hurt me. I am not doing that Umenikosea. for you to say sorry. Nasikuji kwako kudai uniambie sorry. Apana. I am doing that Ninatenda hivi to release my spirit. Roho yangu ifunguriwe. Because once I say it, kwa sababu hivi yo, I feel free. Ninajisikia niko huru sijabeba yeyote mtu mimi. I have not opened up my spirit sijafungua roho yangu for a demon to come in. Sijafunguria roho yangu. Nikitenda hivyo, ninafunguria roho yangu. Hakuna pepo anaweza kuingia. Listen. Sikiza. How demons come into people? Vile mapepo yanaingia ndani ya watu. When a brother hurts you, ndugu akikudhuru, first, jambo la kwanza, you feel the hurt. Unasikia haya madhara. The Bible said, Biblia inasema, be angry. Be angry. Kasirike. But don't let the sun go down Lakini on your eyes. Lakini njia jua kutua. Why does God say that? Kwa nini Mungu anasema hivyo? You can be angry. Unaweza kukasirika ndio. But if you let that anger stay Lakini a while. Lakini hiyo 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 machungu, hiyo hasira ukiruhusu roho yako ibebe hiyo hasira mchana wote, you will open a door utafungua mlango for a demon to come in. Kwa mapepo yaingie. So if you keep hot against somebody for long kwa hivyo ukiweka madhara ulifanywa na mtu muda mrefu you're opening a door unafungua mlango for a demon to come in mapepo yaingie when that demon comes in hiyo pepo inapoingia he can do anything to you inaweza kukufanya madhara ya inayoyote most of your sicknesses today magonjwa mengi sana miongoni mwetu it is proven scientifically imedhibitishwa kisayansi that the state of our spirit ya kwamba hari ya roho is responsible hari ya roho ndio inawajibika for plenty of the sicknesses we have in our bodies kuwa na magonjwa ndani ya miri yetu that is proving scientifically wanasayansi wame wamepitisha do you understand that so, so if you open your heart your spirit for those demons ukifungua nafsi yako kwa haya mapepo they can come into your spirit yataingia kwa roho yako and begin to afflict your spirit na yaanze kufanya roho yako kudhuru roho yako and 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 brings your immune system down <laughs> na yaweze kushusha hali ya wewe kujipinga kwa magonjwa they bring your mind so down kuweza kufanya mafikira yako yawe chini sana they bring down your self esteem so low na hali ya uungwana wako unajisikia mnyonge they begin to make you feel angry pia yanakufanya uwe mwenye hasira you're almost angry with every situation ya kwamba kila mazingara yanakukasirisha wewe you stop seeing god into situations Uma, unakosa kuona mungu tena katika kila hali you become a bitter person unakuwa mwenye machungu and as you keep becoming bitter na kwa vile unaendelea kuwa uh, mwenye machungu your esteem is going down uchungu hushusha uungwana you begin to do funny funny things Maisha yako yanaanza kuwa ni maisha isiyo ya kawaida. You begin to lie going to sin. Unaanza udanganyifu kuingia kwa dhambi. People who live in sin, watu ambao wanaishi ndani ya dhambi, is because their esteem is low. Ni kwa sababu enye, ni kwa sababu hali ya kujiheshimu imeshuka. They have to tell lies when they are confronted. Inawabidi waongee uongo wakijua ni uongo because there is fear kwa sababu kuna hofu in their spirit ndani ya roho zao that if they say the truth ya kwamba wakisema ukweli something can happen to them kuna jambo baya litatendeka kwao that's a low self esteem sasa sasa hiyo ndiyo hali ya kushusha ungwana wako they have to lie against another minister 
Inabidi pia kuongea uongo juu ya huduma mwingine to keep their members ndio waweze kuweka kanisa ikiwa pamoja because there's a fear kwa sababu kuna uoga that if they tell their members ya kwamba wakiambia washirika wao that that brother is a christian ya kwamba huyo ndugu ni mkristo they fear that their members will follow the brother wanaogopa huyu wao washirika wataenda ile kanisa why must a minister tell their members not to come to these meetings kwa nini wahuduma wanaambia washirika wasidhubutu kuja hapa it's low self esteem ni kwa sababu ni kwa sababu heshima yao wenyewe imejishusha sana because if that minister knows na huyo mhuduma anajua that he has the holy ghost ya kwamba wewe uko na mtakatifu if that minister knows na huyo mhuduma akijua that his people ya kwamba hao watu are the sheep of god ni kondoo wa Mungu if that minister has confidence Sa, kama huyo mhuduma ako na ujasiri confidence makes your self esteem high ujasiri kuwa na uhakika unakufanya wewe mtu mwenye heshima na unajiheshimu katika hata mienendo yako he will not be afraid he will not be afraid hata ogopa so i know any pastor kwa hivyo mchungaji yeyote yule that tells their members ambaye anaambia washirika wake don't go there usiende pale there is an underlying fear that's right all these things are done by fear ambaye anaambia washirika wake msiende pale msiende pale hilo jambo liko na uoga ndani ya maisha yake uoga unajidhihirisha kwa maisha yake kama onyo msiamini huyu msiamini huyu ni ya kwamba heshima yake imejishusha to live in sin kwa hivyo wanaishi katika dhambi is because your esteem is low kama ile hali Mungu alituumba nayo kujiheshimu ikishuka all the fornicators and adulterers this filled the spirits unajipata mzizi mwenye usherati na mapepo ya aina yote ndio sababu unajificha jificha kwa sababu unatenda haya mambo na unaogopa but when the holy ghost comes upon you wakati roho mtakatifu anakujia it lifts up your esteem roho mtakatifu akikujia unajipata heshima yako it makes you know who you are heshima yako inainuka na unajijua wewe ni nani you walk your chest is out unajipata mwenye ujasiri ukitembea you know, son of god unatembea kama mwana wa mungu i'm a child of the king mimi ni mwana wa mfalme god is my father mungu ndiye baba yangu and because i'm a son of god na mimi ni mwana wa mungu i'm not supposed to eat fornication si hitaji kuishi maisha ya usinzi i'm not supposed to commit adultery mimi si hitaji kutenda usherati i'm supposed to walk as a son inanibidi nitembee kama mwana somebody shout hallelujah mmoja aseme hallelujah your self esteem ile heshima yako that is what confidence does confidence hivyo ndivyo ujasiri unafanya ujasiri bwana na aturehemu unaweza mkakaa unaweza mkakaa before i came to this meeting kabla ya kuja hii mikutano i preach in my church nilihubiri kwa kanisa langu the difference ah uh, tofauti between belief and confidence ya kwamba baadhi ya many of us believe wengi wetu wanaamini but confidence lakini ujasiri is an esteem ujasiri ni ile heshima yako mwenyewe when confidence comes on you wakati ujasiri unakushukia it raises up your spirit ujasiri unainua roho yako it raises you high inakuinua and that is why faith na ndio sababu imani when the holy ghost comes upon you wakati roho mtakatifu anakujia as a baptism kama ubatizo 
That is God giving you faith. Hiyo inakupea imani. But the other name for that faith, lakini jina lingine la hiyo imani is confidence. Ni ujasiri. Confidence, ujasiri is something you feel. Ujasiri ni kitu unasikia kinakutoka ndani. Not just something you accept. Sio kitu watu unapokea na kukubali. Accept a belief. Sio kitu unapokea na kuamini. Confidence, ujasiri is a feeling. Confidence ujasiri is a feeling ni hisia of assurance of assurance assurance, assurance yes ujasiri ni hisia ya thibitisho when god gives you confidence mungu anapokupatia ujasiri he gives you the assurance anakupatia bima of what you believe bima ya kile unaamini if you believe i'm a son of god ukiamini mimi ni mwana wa mungu confidence ujasiri gives you the assurance inakupea hiyo bima the am a son of god ya kwamba wewe ni mwana wa mungu you feel that way you feel that way tunasikia tunajihisi hivyo you walk that way unatembea hivyo you live that way unaishi hivyo so in this message kwa hivyo katika huu ujumbe what i don't see is confidence kila kila sioni ni ujasiri but brother lakini ndugu I have confidence Mimi niko na ujasiri that you cannot be lost Ya kwamba wewe huwezi kupotea But Abraham said Ju Abraham alisema under no circumstance Hapana hali yoyote ile can your name Jina lako comes out of that eternal section Lidaweza kutolewa katika sehemu ya umilele Once your name wakati jina lako is pillar in blood Limenyunyuziwa damu once your name wakati jina lako is transferred limehamishwa from the regular section kutoka hali ya kawaida to the eternal section kwenye kitabu upande wa umilele but the problem said you will anasema under no circumstance hakuna hali yoyote ile why did he say that alisema hivyo kwa nini to give you confidence akupea ujasiri to raise up your esteem ndio aweze kuinua heshima yako no demon on the face of the earth hakuna pepo ndani ya dunia no sickness hakuna ugonjwa no doctrine hakuna mafundisho no interpretation hakuna tafsiri can take your name out hey inaweza kutoa jina lako katika sehemu ya umirere That is why I am so confident. Hiyo ndio sababu mimi ni mwenye ujasiri. That the Holy Ghost will power out. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu atashuka hapa. It is not just a belief. Sio kuamini tu. I believe it. Ninaamini but I have the assurance. Lakini ninayo hiyo bima. I have the confidence. Nina ujasiri. You are going to be sealed. Wewe utatiwa muhuri. You are going to be delivered. Utaokolewa. I said so. Naamini because I believe it. Sawa unaamini hivyo. But I have confidence. Nina ujasiri. If you are sick, kama yeye ni mgonjwa, in this meetings, hii mikutano, I have ninayo ujasiri. You are going to utaponywa. That you can be healed. Utaponywa. I don't care where you are. Mahali popote ulipo. The spirit of God. Roho wa Mungu is coming to this meetings. Amekuja kwa hii mikutano to provide you confidence. Akuletee ujasiri to provide you confidence akupatie ujasiri let me tell you something right now wateni niwaambie kitu listen closely skiza 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 i know you believe ninajua unaamini i know you believe najua unaamini you believe there is son unaamini but you don't have self confidence you believe this you, are, you believe you are a son of god unaamini wewe ni mwana wa mungu lakini ujasiri juu ya hiyo kukiri huna but what you lack lakini kile unakosa is confidence ni ujasiri the assurance hiyo ni bima that is why somebody can tell you na hivyo ndio sababu mmoja anaweza kukuambia you are not in the bride wewe hauko ndani ya bibi harusi and you are afraid na unaogopa <laughs> let me tell you something wacha nikwambie kitu this is my first time of doing that my first time of doing that wakati mara yangu ya kwanza all the brothers on the other side i love them wadugu wote mimi nawapenda and they love me na maana nipenda they are my brothers ndugu zangu they are my friends marafiki zangu one thing they know i have kitu kimoja wanajua mimi niko nacho confidence ujasiri 
But the common calls it authority. I have, I have authority. I know who I am. Brother, you know who you are. Dugu, unajijua ni nani? Confidence. Ujasir. I'm on my way to the resurrection. Juya haki yangu. Lord have mercy, praise God, hallelujah. I feel something is moving. Nasikia jambo fulani limeanza kutembea. I'm on my way to the resurrection. Mimi niko barabarani nikielekea kwenye kufufuka. Brother Karanja. Amen. We are on our way. Dugu Karanja to the resurrection. Tuko barabarani tukielekea kwenye kufufuka. People can stand my way. Hakuna yote anaweza kunipinga. Seven thunders. Guru Mosaba gave me the assurance. Nini nipatia ujasiri? Seven thunders. Guru Mosaba gave me the confidence. Nini nipatia ujasiri? I know who I am. Ninajua mimi ni nani. I cannot be lost. Siwezi kupotea. I am beyond lost. Mimi ni zaidi ya kupotea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let somebody say amen. Sema amina. Let somebody say amen. Sema amina. Tonight. Leo Confidence is coming to you. You will leave this meeting with your chest out. I am a son of God. I am not a slave. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen closely. Listen. This is an experience that you're going to have. I had to say this back home in my church because I'm going to preach of the Holy Ghost baptism. Because most people don't know the Holy Ghost experience. How it feels when the Holy Ghost comes. You believe the message. But belief Imani is not the same as confidence. Sio ujasiri. No. Pana. We call it faith. Tunaita imani. But it's confidence. Lakini ni ujasiri. And assurance. Na hiyo ni bima. You know that you know. Unajua. Ya kwamba unajua. Now you are here tonight. You stand in tonight. Sumama hapa leo. Whatever is your need. Hitaji lako ni gani? One thing God will do to you right now. Kitu kimoja Mungu atakutendea in your spirit. Ndani ya roho yako you will feel a sense of confidence utasikia hali ya ujasiri that I am here. Ya kwamba nimeponywa. Now, sasa that's how the minister perceives your faith. Hivyo ndivyo muhuduma anahisi imani yako. Because when I come close to you, ya kwamba nikikukaribia what I feel vile ninahisi in the spirit ndani ya roho it's your confidence. New amen. New jasiri wako. If you have confidence, new jasiri wako. I will know that. Ya nitajua. And when confidence, na wakati ujasiri in me, ndani yangu, meet your confidence. Ukipatana na ujasiri wako, then I can tell you, ya kwa basi nakwambia, rise up and walk. Eh. Basi nitakwambia, inuka na utembee. Now brother Branham, sasa ndugu Branham, listen close. Kiza when he is discerning the people anapofafanua maroho what he tells you first alipokuambia kwanza he want to be sure alikuwa anataka haki that you recognize ya kwamba unatambua where you are standing unasimama wapi so first he will ask you kwa, kwanza anakuuliza that you feel a certain way right now anakuuliza una unahisi una hisi, hisi ya furani sasa then the person said yes haya mtu anasema ndio then he says that feeling anasema hiyo hisia unasikia it's not a man. Huyo sio mwanadamu. It's the angel. Huyo ni malaika. Standing close to you. Anakukaribia. But first the person, lakini kwanza huyo mtu has to feel it. Inabidi kwanza asikie haya mazingara. That is the feel of the spirit. Hiyo sasa ni kuhisi roho. And the prophet will know, na nabii basi angetambua when you feel it. Unapo hisi because hivyo, once you feel it unapo hisi hivyo, and then he tells you basi that is the angel malaika, it gives you confidence imari. Hey. once he can tell you basi that this feeling hiyo hisia, is not a man mtu. I am human Nimeo. you are human 
Mimi ni mtu, ni mtu. But there is a spirit roho, upon both of us. Juu yetu. Mawili. He said, Prabambuse, I am human. Mimi ni mtu. You are human. Wewe ni binadamu pia. But there is a spirit lakini kuna roho that's upon two of us. Iko juu yetu mimi na wewe. He said that spirit anapokuambia hiyo roho is the anointing. Huyo ndio upako. It's the angel of the Lord. Huyo ndiye malaika wa Bwana. Once the prophet knows habasi kwa jia hiyo nabi anatambua that you recognize is it. That that recognize is it. Ya kwamba wewe umetambua then he knows alafu anajua you have belief una imani because what unbelief does kwa sababu kutoamini vile kunafanya even when the holy spirit comes to the meeting hata roho mtakatifu akishuka kwenye mkutano a man with unbelief mtu ambaye ako na kutoamini we still sit there atakaa tu chini and can't recognize na hawezi kutambua the anointing ule upako hallelujah amen that anointing ule upako comes to give you faith unakuletea imani which is called confidence na hiyo imani inaitwa ujasiri over your situation ujasiri juu ya hali yako so the people on the wheelchair kwa hivyo wale wako katika viti vya wagonjwa when they come before the prophet wakija mbele ya nabii the first of all feel the anointing wa kwanza wangehisi upako a confidence comes upon them ujasiri unawajia their legs are still weak miguu yao bado ni minyonge but the spirit of confidence lakini roho ya ujasiri comes upon them inakuja juu yao and the branham na dugu branham under the anointing chini ya upako of that confidence ya ule ujasiri come out of a wheelchair anakwambia toka kwenye hicho kitu cha confidence kwa sababu ujasiri out of your wheelchair ukiwa na ule ujasiri unaamka that is what the holy ghost does hivyo ndivyo roho mtakatifu anafanya boost up your belief kazi yake ni kukuchangia moto imani yako iinuke you just can't believe you just can't believe wewe huwezi kujifanya uamini and your head is always down na kichwa chako kimeinamishwa wakati wote you can't face anything huwezi kuandama jambo lolote you went to all kinds of sin uko katika dhambi za aina yote so therefore tonight kwa hivyo usiku wa leo you your people tonight nyinyi vijana usiku wa leo struggling with sin ambao mmejaa na dhambi that is not your place hiyo sio nafasi yako confidence ujasiri is coming to you tonight unakujia usiku wa leo you are going to live here utatoka hapa as a young man kama kiumbe kipya a young man kama kijana a young sister dada kijana who is dedicated ambaye amejiweka wakfu so this message kwa huu ujumbe you can go to your school unaweza kwenda kwa shule and tell your friends ambia marafiki wako i'm a born again christian mimi ni mkristo tofauti you don't have to be ashamed wewe huhitaji kuaibika to say i'm a christian kusema mimi ni mkristo you don't have to be ashamed huhitaji kuaibika to dress right kuvaa rinda refu to live right kukaa maisha safi because you have confidence kwa sababu uko na ujasiri can somebody say hallelujah mtu aseme haleluya can somebody say hallelujah useme haleluya therefore tonight kwa hivyo siku ya leo this war in heaven hii vita binguni we cannot fight this war hatuwezi kupigana hii vita without the holy ghost bila roho mtakatifu we can't fight this war hatuwezi kupigana hii vita with human intellect tukiwa na akili ya kibinadamu let me close out wacha nifunge but the branham the branham was first placed into the land was first placed into the land the land of the holy ghost oh dugu branham kwanza aliwekwa katika nafasi yake ndani ya nchi ya roho na he calls it adoption akafanyika mwana he was first in the land he was first in the land alitangulia kufanyika mwana nchi hiyo ya ahadi inaitwa roho mtakatifu then in the land na ndani ya hiyo nchi he was given three pools akapewa mivuto mitatu to fight the spirit kupigana haya maroho a first pool vuto wa kwanza was to fight demons in the physical realm ulikuwa ni apigane na mapepo hali ya kimwili demons in the form of cancer diabetes physical mapepo aina ya magonjwa ya saratani ya sukari na kadhalika right sawa then the second pool mvuto wa pili 
He was given the access, the authority. Akaruhusiwa mamraka to enter into the hearts of man. Kuigia kwenye roho za wanadamu. Because only God knows what is what is in your heart. Kwa sababu Mungu peke yake ndiye ajuae kilicho ndani yako. But God gave with Abraham, lakini ndugu Abraham, a second pool. Mvuto wa pili with the authority akiwa na mamlaka to go in your heart in your spirit kuingia ndani ya roho yako nafsi yako and find where those demons are hiding na atafute wanajificha wapi mapepo because it can't rebuke those spirits sababu hakiweza kukemea hizo roho but it can force find them kwanza atafute zimejificha wapi ndani ya roho yako and knows where they are hiding na ajua wamejificha wapi that was second pool hiyo ilikuwa mvuto wa pili but the soul lakini nafsi demons in the soul mapepo ndani ya nafsi that causes unbelief ambayo yanasababisha kutokuamini he was given a third pool akapewa mvuto wa tatu mamlaka to reach out your soul aingie kwenye nafsi yako and pull those demons out angoe 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 hizo pepo now that is what you call complete redemption na hiyo sasa ndio tunaita ukombozi mkamilifu No demons in your body. Hapana mapepo kwa mwili. No demons in your spirit. Hapana mapepo kwa roho. No demons in your soul. Hapana mapepo kwa nafsi. So the Branham. Kwa hivyo ndugu Branham was given the authority. Akapewa mamlaka to bring complete redemption. Alete ukombozi kamilifu by three pools. Na mivuto mitatu. We are given three steps. Tumepewa hatua tatu. But the kindness. Upendano wa Mungu. decency. Uh, maisha masafi place in Christ alafu nafasi yetu ndani ya Kristo when we are placed in Christ tunapopata nafasi yetu ndani ya Kristo we are given the authority tunapata mamlaka to, yetu to operate back those pools tuweze kukimbiza haya mapepo in our place in Christ katika nafasi yetu ndani ya Kristo we cannot come back to you hatuwezi kurudi kwako and pull those demons out of your body tutoe haya mapepo kwa mwili the demons in your spirit kwa roho and then in your soul na ndani ya nafsi yako so it is the angel ni malaika and three pools katika mivuto mitatu that is why in church na ndio sababu kanisani when the pastor is rebuking na, na mchungaji anapokemea he is not rebuking you hakukemei He's rebuking spirits. Ana kemea mapepo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because those spirits. Kwa sababu haya mapepo are the spirits trying to stop you ni mapepo ya kukukwaza from making the resurrection. Usihitimu unyakuzi. That's why God gave you a pastor. Ndio sababu Mungu alikupatia mchungaji to stand there asimame pale and rebuke fornication. Akemee uzinzi and rebuke adultery. Akemee uh, uh, usherat and rebuke discord in the message. Akemee mvuru roho wa vurugu and rebuke all this filthiness. Na akemee uchafu wote. He's not coming against you. Yeye haikuinuka hainuki dhidi yako. He's fighting those spirits. Anapigana na hizo roho that are trying to stop you yanajaribu kukukwaza from coming to the resurrection usihitimu kwenye unyakuzi can somebody say amen to that church usema amina so now listen skiza now sasa i left my church back home ni wacha kanisa langu nyumbani i was going to come for these meetings really i wasn't going to come for these meetings i was almost going to cancel my karibu nikose kuja hizi mikutano because i'm trying to get the church kwa sababu unajaribu kuweka kanisa in a corporate mood to bring down the holy ghost nilikuwa najaribu kuweka kanisa katika hali wanaweza kumkaribisha na kumpokea roho mtakatifu because we can't take the land if you are divided kwa sababu hatuwezi kushika kunyakuwa hii nchi tukiwa tumegawanyika god must find a group mungu itambidi atafute kundi fulani that is in one accord ambao liko pamoja one mind fikira moja corporate Couple the group kundi to bring down the holy spirit waweza kushusha roho mtakatifu now listen skiza once we get into the land tunapoingia kwenye nchi then now joshua joshua now comes and divide the land anakuja anagawanya nchi right amen then in the land kwa ndani ya nchi you can now fight as an individual ndani ya nchi sasa unaweza kupigana kama binafsi uchukue ahadi za nyakati saba za makanisa usisahau ya kwamba nyakati saba za makanisa kila kizazi ni ahadi nyakati saba za makanisa 
all have seven churches promises nyakati saba za makanisa zinazo ahadi zake katika kila kizazi the new name jina jipya a stone jiwe a temple in the house of god hekaro a bright and morning star nyumba ya nyu ya mungu all these are promises subui all these are promises ahadi hizi zote in the holy ghost ndani ya nchi ya roho mtakatifu now the scripture says maandiko nasema to him that overcometh kwa yule ashindaye now those promises haya hizi ahadi that's in the seven church ages ziko katika dahari saba za makanisa a promises only to the overcomer ni ni ahadi za washidi peke yao because it is by those promises kwa sababu ni kwa kupitia zile ahadi that you become partaker unakuwa mrithi of the divine nature wa 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 wa, wa, wa tabia ya kiungu and this divine nature na hii tabia ya kiungu is not for regular sons it's hii, not for regular sons hii tabia ya kiungu sio ya wana wa kawaida this divine nature hii tabia ya kiungu is for attribute sons ni ya wana waliokuemo mawazoni mwake that means sons wawe wana that have the nature of god in them watakuwa na maubiri ya baba yao ndani yao not just having an anointing upon them sio kuwa na upako tu juu yao but god's nature lakini wawe na maumbile ya mungu which is his attribute na hizo ndizo wazo in that son ndani ya huyu mwana he becomes an attribute son anafanyika mwana now to have that nature kuwa na yale maumbile you must have promises inabidi uwe na ahadi that you can overcome by ya kwamba zitakusaidia so, kushinda so, so once we get into the land of the holy spirit tunapoingia katika hii nchi ya roho mtakatifu that you are baptized into the holy spirit kumaanisha umebatizwa na mtakatifu you become a spirit son of god unafanyika roho roho mwana wa mungu but now we in the land lakini ndani ya nchi there is an inheritance kuna urithi which is this promises urithi ni hizi ahadi of the seven church ages katika nyakati saba za makanisa and we in this last church age na sisi katika kipindi cha mwisho cha kanisa are given all the promises tumekabidhiwa ahadi zote of the seven church ages za nyakati saba za kanisa because they without us are not made perfect pasipo sisi hawakamiliki so we have the promise of paul and radius and so forth kwa ahadi ya paulo irinias martin koruba wengineo is by this promises ni kupitia hizi ahadi that we can partake tunaweza kuhusika of the divine nature katika tabia ya uungu hallelujah amen and when the divine nature comes in you na tabia maumbile ya kiungu yakija ndani yetu you cannot escape the corruption sasa unaweza kupotea kwenye uovu yale maumbile yanapoingia ndani yako maumbile yako ya ubinadamu yanaoza you become a real son of god unafanyika mwana wa Mungu wa kweli understand this very well elewa haya kabisa so, so it's not just any promises kwa hivyo sio ahadi yoyote ile but seven church age promises lakini ahadi za nyakati saba za makanisa Abraham said every age Abraham alisema kila dahari God gives a promise of the world Mungu anapeana ahadi fulani it is those that manifest the promise word for the age ni wale ambao wanadhihirisha ahadi za dahari yao that become children of the kingdom for that age wana wana wanaimarika kwenye kipindi chao so we have a long way to go kwa hivyo tuko na safari but get started first lakini kwanza tuanze by getting first into the land kwa kuingia kwenye nchi and the land has been revealed to us na nchi tumefunduliwa by malachi 4 na malachi 4 a good land ni nchi bora a seventh on the land ni nchi nzuri ya grupo 7 and god has a group na mungu ana kundi on the pathway of 4 chini ya karatasi 334 that can check the land wanaweza kuchukua hiyo once we check the land wanaweza kuchukua hiyo ahadi then it's now time it's now time na sasa ni wakati to take your inheritance uchukue urithi wako which is this promises na ni hizi ahadi that means in the holy ghost ambao ni roho mtakatifu you have an inheritance there uko na urithi pale what is your inheritance sio urithi tu a bright and morning star nyota ya asubuhi iangaayo Jesus said if you overcome Yesu alisema utakaposhinda he will give you atakupatia the bright and morning star nyota ya asubuhi iliyongara 
and Jesus himself is a bright and morning star. He says he will make you a pillar guzo in the temple of his God. He says he will write upon you he will write upon you his own new name Gina Lake Jipia, the name of the city of his God, Gina La Munji Wamungu, and the name of the temple of his God. Na Gina La Hekaro La Mungu. That is your inheritance. Who on the Orivi was who you are. Na hiyo, who you ni wewe. But you have to so once you become those promises. Kwa hivyo, haya hizo tabiri zote, the divine nature of God. Hizo hadi zote maumbile ya kiungu has to come into you. So now listen close. Skiza, skiza. Once you get to the Holy Ghost land, Alright, you receive the Holy Ghost baptism. Your next fight. Vita vya piri kupigana. The next war. Vita ya piri sasa. Is the war against the Philistines. Ni vita vidi ya wafiristi. The Philistines are difficult. They are hard to go. Wafiristi ni wangumu. Hawatoki haraka hivyo. The Philistines are always there. Wafiristi hawaondoki unaamka unawapata bado wako. Israel drove most of the other tribes out of the land. Hata hizi kabila zingine ukizisukuma. But their main constraint was the Philistines. Shida yao, changamoto yao ilikuwa ni wafiristi. The Philistines have always afflicted Israel. Wafiristi kazi yako yao ilikuwa ni kukukwaza mapenzi yao. Goliath was a Philistine. Golaya alikuwa ni mfiristi. All the sons of Anakim they are Philistines. Wao wana wote wa Anakim ni wafiristi. It's a powerful spirit. This is in roho zenye nguvu. And the Branham na dugu Branham says that spirit is a type. Akasema hiyo roho ni aina of our personal demons. Ni aina ya mapepo yetu binafsi. But the Theo said this morning, dugu Theo alisema asubuhi ya leo that when these demons fell from heaven, ya kwamba haya mapepo yaliposhuka kutoka biguni, they took over the human spirit, walichukua roho za wanadamu, and they gave the people a nature. <laughs> na yakapatia watu maumbile ingine fulani. Now most of your habits, most of the things you do, sasa tabia nyingi unajipata uko nazo, a demon don't have to be present to make you do them. Ni mapepo yanakufanya ufanye hizo tabia. Most times is a nature thing. Wakati mwingi ni hali ya maumbile fulani. Many of you are not really demon possessed. Wengi wenu hamjapagawa na mapepo. You came into this message. Ningia kwa ujumbe. Those demons on you are casted out. Haya mapepo ndani yako yakatupwa nje. You see but the nature. Lakini maumbile that those demons have left in your spirit. Maumbile hizi pepo zimewacha ndani ya nafsi yako is still there maumbile yale ya mapepo yaliyotupwa nje bado yako when somebody lies skiza wakati mtu anaongea uongo because it is just flippancy kwa sababu you just you, you lie because it's flippant you just like you lie to make a mistake so i'm sorry i'm sorry wakati kwa sababu ni, ni kama vile unaweza kusema nisamehe nisamehe you see that is not a nature thing Hiyo sio uh, uh, maumbile but you have people who lie lakini kuna watu ambao kazi yao is just in their nature to lie kwa kuna watu ambao udanganyifu ni maumbile ndani ya damu yao ndani ya roho it is just in their nature to destroy people kuna wengine ni maumbile yao kuvunja vunja watu wengine they must have gotten that spirit way back in the world. Huenda hiyo roho waliitoa duniani. They came into Christ. Wakaingia kwa Kristo. The demons are casted out. Mapepo yaka mapepo yakakemewa, but they refused to deal with that nature. Wakakosa kutia changamoto kwa yale maumbile ambayo yalibaki. Bram says like when somebody has a demon, Bram anasema mtu akiwa na pepo of cancer, ya saratani you see, the demon causes a wound on a cancer patient or diabetes. Nabii anasema, hiyo pepo ndiyo inaleta kindonda kwa mwenye saratani ama ugonjwa wa sukari. The demon can be casted out. Anasema, hiyo pepo inaweza kukemewa, but you have to deal with the wound. 
inapokemewa inatoka unabaki na kidoda sasa awamu ya pili ni kuhusika kwa hiyo kidoda if you leave, leave that wound on death with you don't twist the wound usiposhughulikia kile kidoda sasa the demon itself is gone pepo limetoka but to heal that wound lakini kile kidoda you must do something about it ni lazima utende jambo fulani you still have to put medicine on it hata ukiweka dawa nzuri juu yake na put medicine on the sore on the wound kuweka kupaka kidoda dawa is not unbelief sio kupaka kile kidonda dawa sio kutokuamini but you have to treat the remains of that demon lakini ni kufagia arama za yule pepo zile zilibaki alipotoka so you may, you may need to take some penicillin some tablets unaweza kuhitaji kukunywa penicillin ama pembe fulani you are treating the remains of that wound unatibu mabaki ya madhara ya yule pepo aliyokemewa so, so after the demons in you is casted out wakati huyo roho amekemewa ametoka take a brother who has a demon of fornication kama ndugu roho ya usinzi in the world duniani once he sees women anaona wana, anapoona wanawake he get excited anaanza kuamka amka he want to sleep with every woman anataka kunena na kila mwanamke he get saved naokoka that demon is casted out lile pepo lilikemewa likatoka he feels he's been delivered anasikia amekombolewa but the remains and nature is still there lakini kulibaki maumbile fulani iliwachwa na yule pepo aliyekemewa if you don't take measures usiposhughulikia haya what measures do you take unashughulikia haya mabaki namna gani like paul says after you are saved paul anasema unapookolewa is a be not on equal yoked with unbelievers unapookolewa paul anasema usijifunganishe na wasioamini i mean but john says in first john na katika waraka wa yohana wa kwanza he said don't even eat with the fornicator Anasema hata usikae meza moja kukura kucheka na wazinzi. Is these are measures you take. Anasema hizi ni uh, uh, maumbile unakuwa deal with the nature. Sasa kushughulikia yale maumbile that's been left in by those devils. Maumbile ya, ambayo ni mabaki yaliyoachwa na mapepo walipotoka because if you don't deal with the nature kwa sababu usiposhughulikia yale maumbile that spirit goes around anazunguka if it doesn't find rest anazunguka it comes back inarudi because the demon must find a nature in you kwa sababu huyu pepo ni lazima akute maumbile ndani yako before he comes in again kama kabla hajarudi ndani yako but if the demon comes sasa huyu pepo akija and he knows you've dealt with that nature na anajua ile hali ya maumbile yake uliishughulikia uli na ukaifagia he has nothing in you to work by anymore pepo hawezi kukaa ndani yako kwa sababu hana maumbile yake ndani yako anabaya anaweza kuingia atekereze mapenzi yake of course he will tempt you na kwa kweli atakujaribu but you cannot get you anymore lakini hawezi kukupata tena because the nature is now dead kwa sababu yale maumbile yake yalikufa uliyashughulikia there is nothing in you again to make you do it na hapana jambo ndani yako linaweza kukuongoza kutenda mapenzi yake tena can somebody say amen to that church naweza kusema amina so here tonight kwa hivyo jioni ya leo why am i doing this kwa nini natenda hivi because God is going to bring deliverance. Kwa sababu Mungu anashusha ukombozi. I want to teach you. Nataka kukufundisha. You have a part to do. Sehemu nyingine vile utafanya. Whatever spirit upon you today, roho yoyote iko juu yako leo, God is going to deliver you. Mungu atakukomboa. But when you go back home, unaporudi nyumbani, deal with the nature. Shughulikia hiyo maumbile because you've got to that spirit all these years sababu huyu roho uliyomkuwa naye miaka hii yote it has left a nature in you roho aliondoka pole roho aliondoka lakini kumbe aliwacha maumbile yake ndani yako and that has to be dealt with na lazima ishughulikiwe
That has to be dealt with. Lazima ishughulikiwe. That must be dealt with. Zile alama alipoanza ndani ya roho yako. Can somebody say amen to that church? Can somebody say amen to that church? Sema amina. That is how you make yourself a Christian. Ndio ufanyike kuwa mkristo. If you don't do that, usipotenda hivyo, you can't be a Christian. Huwezi kufanyika mkristo. And demons don't like this. Mapepo hayapendi haya. For plenty of you, wengi wenu, it could be a demon. It could be a demon. Inaweza kana ni pepo fulani. Because what demons do to people, vile mapepo yanatendea watu, they take away your self control. Yanaondoa ule uwezo wako wa kujiendesha. They make you do things you don't want to do. Yanaku Elekeza kutenda usio yapenda. I'm still on war in heaven. War in heaven. Bando niko kwenye kile kichwa chetu vita mbinguni. I'm trying to raise up this war. Nataka sasa kuleta hii vita in the spirit. Ndani ya roho. That this war in heaven, hii vita mbinguni is war against our own spirits. Ni vita dhidi ya roho zetu. I'll be free live here tonight. Before you leave here tonight. Us, kabla hujatoka hapa jioni ya leo. Wherever you are sitting tonight. Mahali unakaa. Don't forget this. Sisahau hii. There is a rapture coming. Kuna unyakuzi unakuja. No minister. Hapana mchungaji yote. Not even your pastor. Hata mchungaji wako. Can put you into that rapture. Anaweza kukuhubiria uingie kwenye unyakuzi. God has sent a prophet. Mungu ametuma nabii. To show us the way. Atuonyeshe njia. God sent a prophet Mungu ametuma nabii to teach you kukufundisha how to make yourself a Christian. Vile unaweza kujiweka kama mkristo. Take responsibility tonight. Chukua wa, 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 mamlaka yako. Tonight take a responsibility. Usiku ya leo wajibika for your salvation. Kwa wokovu wako. Don't leave it in the hands of a minister. Wokovu wako usiwaachilie mchungaji fulani. The minister's duty Muhuduma kazi yake is to equip you by the word is to equip you by the word ni kukuviz, ni kukuvika neno but he cannot take your responsibility lakini hawezi kuchukua wajibu wako he cannot deal with your nature hawezi kushughulikia maumbile yako he shows you how to do it anakuonyesha jinsi kutenda but it is your responsibility lakini ni wajibu wako to do it utenda hivyo the rapture has come. Unyakuzi unakuja. Therefore tonight, kwa hivyo usiku wa leo, before you go home, kabla hujaenda nyumbani, take it seriously. Yes. Wekea makini, tia kwenye makini haya mambo. You did not come into these meetings, hukuja hizi mikutano just to see a show. Kuona sarakasi fulani. I didn't come all the way from Sierra Leone, sikutoka Sierra Leone for a showmanship. Kuja kuwafanyia sarakasi hapa. I came here to help you. Nilikuja kuwasaidia by the Holy Spirit. Kwa jia Roho Mtakatifu. How we all can make it. Na ndio nyote muweze kuhitimu kwenye unyakuzi. In the resurrection. Na pia kwenye ufufuo. When the rapture comes, wakati unyakuzi unakuja, I want to see brother Karanja there. Amen. Nataka kukuona ndugu Karanja hapo. I want to see their brother. Nataka kuona ndugu mpendwa. I want to see their sister. Nataka kuona dada mpendwa. When the resurrection comes, wa asubuhi njema ya ufufuo ikinja, I want to hug your hand. Nataka kushika jina. I say let's go together. Nataka kushika mkono kuambia twende. Somebody say hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. So that is why Dio sababu my message ujumbe wangu has no veils I don't speak in riddles Dio sababu ujumbe wangu sio midhali I speak with plainness of speech Mimi huongea uwazi wa neno If you are still messed up in sin repent tonight Kama bado unaogerea kwenye dhambi tubu because leo. demons are trying to stop you kwa sababu mapepo yanajaribu kukusimamisha from making the resurrection kuhitimu kwenye unyakuzi so tonight kwa hivyo usiku wa leo you have a responsibility wajibika i will give you instructions tonight nitatoa uh, nit, maagizo leo what you must do vile itakubidi ufanye if you have a spirit on you kama uko na roho juu yako maybe you have fought for years labda mafikira yako miaka mingi there's a will inside of you. The will. 
inside of you. Kuna nia fulani ndani yako that want to do right. Ya kwamba ungetenda kutenda mario mema but a stronger power lakini roho iliyo na nguvu zaidi will not let you do it. Haikuruhusu kutenda. Well we are here tonight. Tuko hapa siku ya leo to tell the spirit. Kwaambia hiyo roho that it has no authority over you. Ya kwamba haina mamlaka juu yako. You are a son of God. Wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Your life is supposed to be for Jesus. Maisha yako ni ya Yesu. So once you leave this convention, unapotoka ukumbi huu, you can tell the critics. Unaweza kuambia wapinzani, what Jesus did for you. Bila Yesu, Yesu alikutendea. You are not going back to explain a message. Hurudi kuelezea ujumbe. Because when they see your life, ba sababu wataona maisha yako when they see you are changed watakapoona mabadiliko ndani yako they will know watajua what the angel is mahali malaika ako so before you leave here tonight kwa hivyo usiku ya leo don't go back to explain a message usirudi nyumbani ukiwa muaminio wa ujumbe kavu but you are going back to explain an experience Utarudi nyumbani ukiwa na kituko cha roho so mtakatifu. To, Kwa hivyo jioni ya leo, very soon, hivi karibuni, I tell you to stand up. Ni utasimama, lift up your hands. Uinue mkono. I'll give you divine instructions in the Holy Spirit. Nitakupea maagizo ya kiungu ndani ya Roho Mtakatifu. Just obey them. Wewe ya ya, ya ti because you are not even a Christian. Sababu wewe hata sio mkristo if you are not delivered kama huamini amen 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 so therefore tonight kwa hivyo jioni ya leo these meetings are dedicated hii mikutano imewekwa wakfu for the supernatural kwa hali ya kiungu paul says i did come to you paul anasema mimi sikuwajia in words of man's wisdom na maneno ya kupendeza ya ulimi mtamu wa wanadamu but with demonstration lakini niliwajia kwa the holy spirit kwa madhibitisho na ishara ya mtakatifu faith ndio sababu imani yenu will not stand isijengwe in the wisdom of men katika hakima ya mwanadamu but your faith will stand ili imani yenu isimame in the power of god isimamishwe na nguvu za mungu because of what god has done in your life kwa sababu ya vile mungu amefanya maishani mwenu this is the way we have to fight hivi ndivyo tutakavyo pigana can somebody say amen to that sema amina so tonight are you ready tonight kwa hivyo uko tayari usiku wa leo are you ready tonight uko tayari Something is going to happen tonight. Jambo fulani litatendeka jioni ya leo. Tonight be serious. Makinika jioni ya leo. Whatever is your challenge, changamoto yako yoyote ile, that is no more you. Hai itatoweka. That is the devil. Na ni shetani. We shall stand tonight. Tutasimama jioni ya leo. And declare war. Na tutangaze vita against the enemy. Kinyume cha adui and tell the enemy adui, that enough is enough ya kwamba imetosha you young people nyinyi vijana who are still bound in sin ambao wamefungwa kwenye dhambi tonight you need to be delivered jioni ya leo mnahitaji kuokombolewa and michael is here na mikaeli yako hapa to help you fight this war akusaidie kupigana hivi vita i'm closing out Nafunga. Michael has fought this war. Mai Mikaeli anapigana hivi. He just fought this war. Malaika wamepigana hivi vita. Now it is your turn. Sasa ni wakati wako upigane hivi vita. Stand up tonight. Simama sasa. Stand to your feet tonight. Simama sasa leo. Now you musician play for me here softly. Na nyinyi wenye mziki mcheze mziki wa chini sana. Now stand on your legs. Simama na miguu yako. And get your mind ready. Na utayarishe mafikira yako. This message huu ujumbe is to give you faith ni wa kukutia imani that you can come out of your prison bars. Dio utoke ndani ya kizuizi chako. I have a confidence tonight. Ninayo ujasiri jioni ya leo that in the spirit ya kwamba God can do anything. Mungu anaweza kutenda lolote. As a play for the softly Unapo cheza ule mziki kwa this, sauti ya chini zaidi this is about you hii ni kuhusu wewe forget who is next to you sahau ni nani aliye karibu na wewe 
take responsibility. Chukua wajibu makinike. The Holy Ghost is here tonight. Roho Mtakatifu ako hapa jioni ya leo. I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Niko na uhakika. God will set you free tonight. Mungu atakuweka huru. Now close your eyes. Jioni ya leo. Funga macho. Lift up your hands. Inua mikono. Don't just pray vaguely. Usiombe pasipo na mwelekeo. All of us in here tonight. Wote jioni ya leo we have our challenges tonight. Kila mmoja wetu ako na changamoto zake. We have our own demons to fight. Kila mmoja wetu ako na pepo zake za kupigana. Exercise your faith. Sasa zoesha, zoeza, zoesha imani yako. It is on you now. Ni juu yako. Release your faith. Sasa wachilia imani yako. Don't postpone your healing. Usi usi usiahirishe. Don't postpone your deliverance. Usiahirishe ukombozi wako. Don't say when dynamics come. Usiahirishe useme siku nyingine. The faith is inside of you. Imani iko ndani yako. To come out of your situation. Kunenea hali yako wherever you are. Mahali popote ulipo, begin to open your mouth. Anza kufungua kinywa chako. Your prayer tonight Ombi lako jioni ya leo will be the prayer of faith. Itakuwa ni ombi la imani. You are praying tonight. Utaomba jioni ya leo under the instruction ukiwa chini ya maagizo of the Holy Spirit. Ya Roho Mtakatifu. Whatever you say tonight, vile utasema jioni ya leo, young people, vijana, I have a burden for you. Niko na mzigo wenu. Young people, vijana, tonight, jioni ya leo, make this night. Jioni ya leo, make this night. Fanya huu usiku wa leo. Make this convention. Fanya huu mkutano wa leo. A time to be delivered. Nafasi yako ya ukombozi. You sister that is here now. Wewe danda uliye hapa sasa. You are bound up. Umefungwa. You are bound. Umefungwa. God want to break your chains. Mungu anataka kuvunja minyororo. God wants to break your chains. Mungu anataka kuvunja minyororo yako. You are here tonight. Hapa jioni ya leo. Chains hanging on you. Chains hanging on you. Minyororo ikininginia juu yako. God wants to break those chains. Mungu anataka kuvunja ile minyororo. God wants to bring joy to your life. Mungu anataka kureta raha ndani yako. Now I will pray with you. Nitaomba na wewe. Please, don't open your eyes. Usifungue macho yako tafadhali. Because when demons leave people, kwa sababu mapepo yanapoondoka watu, they find a place to enter into. Yanatafuta mwili mwingine wa kuingia. So be in the spirit. Kwa hivyo tafadhali hizo roho, when demons leave people, yanapoondoka watu, they find weak people to enter in. Yanatafuta watu wa dhaifu yaingie ndani yao. Don't open your eyes and watch other people. Usifungue macho yako utazame watu wengine. Close your eyes. Funga macho yako. Be in the spirit. Kuwa ndani ya roho. Begin to pray. Anza kuomba. Begin to take authority. Anza kuchukua mamlaka. Whatever spirit juu ya roho zote is upon you. Sababu roho wa Mungu wako juu yako. Talk to that spirit tonight. Nenea ile roho siku ya leo. Call that spirit by name tonight. Ita hiyo roho kwa jina leo. And tell that spirit, naambie hiyo roho that I don't want you no more. Ya kwamba mimi sikutaki ndani yangu tena. Right now, Sahi, I give you the authority mamlaka, to open your mouth chako, and begin to pray. Now anza kuomba. Everybody pray in the house. Kila moja anza kuomba. Every individual. Kila moja begin to pray. And anza kuomba. Young people, vijana, don't just close your mouth. Usifunge kinywa chako. Open your mouth and say something. Fungua mdono wako useme kitu. Begin to worship. Anza kuabudu. Don't just close your eyes. Funga macho. Open your mouth. They should pray. They should pray. They should pray. They should pray. They pray. Fungua kinywa chako na uendere na kuomba. Fungua kinywa chako na uendere kulilia Mungu. Fungua, fungua kinywa chako nena na yeye ako karibu. Fungua kinywa chako anakusikiza. Fungua kinywa chako anakusikiza. Fungua kinywa na uendere kuomba. 
omba zaidi nena tamka fungua kinywa na uendelee kuomba Don't stop, don't you stop. Usikome, usiwache endelea. Don't you stop, go on, go on. Usiwache endelea, endelea. Endelea. Tuendelee kuomba. Endelea. Tuendelee kuomba. Tuendelee. Tuendelee kuomba. The spirit is coming, it's coming, come on. Come Tuendelee kuomba. It's coming. Tuendelee. It's coming, it's coming. Tunaendelea, tunaendelea. Inakuja. It is coming, it is coming. Inakuja, inakuja. Inashuka, inakuja. Endelea kuomba. I can feel it. Naisikia, endelea kuomba. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Come on, come on, come on. It is coming. Na hisi, inakuja, endelea kuomba. Na hisi, inakuja, endelea kuomba, inakuja. Now you are feeling the spirit. Sasa unajazwa na roho. Once you begin to feel the spirit, unahaza kusiki, unakohapa. Church. Utakapo ala. Church. Utakapo sikia roho kianga kushuka. Church, Weka come on! Ajira. It is coming. Inakuja. 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 Take authority. Hallelujah. Take authority. Glory. It is coming. Glory. I can feel it. Glory. It is here. He. It is here. Glory. Woo. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory hallelujah to the king of it is here now. Glory hallelujah. The spirit of God is in the house. Hallelujah to the lamb that was slain Every on devil. Calvary. Glory, Every glory, spirit. glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah to the king of kings. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the king of kings. Glory, glory, glory. Lord God almighty. Ooh, hallelujah, Lord God Almighty, thou art the King, thou art the Lord God, besides thee there is none. Lord, come down right. and meet our needs, Lord. Your oh, great is thy yes, faithfulness. Lord. Yes, Lord. Great is to thy the people. faithfulness. Baptize oh, the Holy Lord, Ghost. glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Isha, woo. glory, glory, glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah to the King of Kings. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. The glory angel has the just King descended. The angel has just descended. The angel of the Lord is here. Malaika wabwana akohapa. The angel is here. Malaika wabwana akohapa. I said the angel is here. Nasema natangaza malaika wabwana akohapa. Natangaza malaika wabwana akohapa. The spirit of the Lord is here. Loho wabwana akohapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can feel it. Nina mushisi. I know it. Nina mjua. It is here. Ako hapa. The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. Is here now. Ako hapa. I take authority. Natukua mamlaka. I take authority. Natukua mamlaka. I take authority. Natukua mamlaka. Over every spirit. Juu ya roho yote. In the name of Jesus. Natika jina na Yesu. House of hell. Natukua mamlaka. House of hell. Nyumba ya kuzimu. Fungua, jia, toka. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Glory, the hallelujah. angel is here for deliverance. Malaika akohapa. 
Akinata Uko. The Holy Ghost is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. To do it for you. Glory, glory. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. You can be filled. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And be refilled. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, yeah, praise yeah, God. Yeah, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Oh, but we thank you. We give you praise. Yes, yes. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, hallelujah. To the King of kings. Lord, we lift our hands up. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Oh, hallelujah. Rock of ages. Rock of ages. Rock of ages. We worship you. Eternal one. Holy one of Israel. We lift our hands up. And to thy name. We our lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. Oh, oh yes, glory, Lord. hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, hallelujah to the king. Glory, hallelujah to the king immortal. Most honor wise God. We lift our hands up yes, unto thy name. That Lord, you may meet our needs. He is according to thy riches. The in devil glory. is a liar. Oh, thank you for your word. Thank you for deliverance. The devil is a Thank liar. you for bringing us this far. This is the oh, revival. Almighty God, we bless the you. The devil is a liar. Oh, Father, we praise you. The devil is a liar. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Father, bless me. Glory, hallelujah. Bless Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord God hallelujah. Almighty, Lord, Lord I lift up the hands of my brother, of King, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray Lord, God, Lord, whatever he desires, up, in the name of Jesus Unto Christ, may the Holy Ghost come right now upon you, and seal you, and baptize you with fire, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, praise God, now we are in the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King. Oh, hallelujah to the King. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory and honor be unto the Lord. Glory and honor. Glory and honor. Glory and honor be unto heaven. the Lord. Glory Roy and heaven. honor. Glory and honor, glory and honor, power glory in heaven, glory in heaven, dominion, raw, majesty, raw, be unto our every God spirit forever is defeated tonight. Jesus Christ, raw. we thank you for we declare coming war. in the form of your word against diabetes. Oh, we declare Hannah. war thank you. against cancer. Thank you. Thank I declare you. war. The devils are paralyzed tonight. My people are paralyzed. Devils are paralyzed tonight. My people are paralyzed. Devils are paralyzed tonight. My people are paralyzed. Demons of Leo. Demons of cancer. My people are sartari. Fibroid. My death. My people are wind. Tonight I destroy it. Usiku wa Leo na wa Angalisa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Demons of infertility. My people are cut off. Part of what I destroy it. Now I'm going to In the name of Jesus. Because the general yes. Demons of hatred. My people are tricky. Demons of discord. My people. Hallelujah. I cast them out. My people are furugu. In the name of Jesus. Now I can make a ticket. The authority is here. Hallelujah. The authority is here. Uwezo uko hapa. The authority is here. Mamlaka yako hapa. The angel. Maraika. Is our authority. Ndiye nguvu zetu. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tuwe hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah to the king.
to the king hallelujah to the king of kings and the lord of lords oh most honorable wise god we bless your name oh great is thy faithfulness Great is thy faithfulness at meeting thy children, oh, bringing down the promises of your children. Thou art faithful, you have been, you are, you will be. We lift our hands up unto thy name. We lift our hands up, Lord. We lift our hands up, Lord. We open our mouth, oh God, and speak to thee, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. That the promise of Abraham upon his children might come upon us, oh God. Even the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Lord our God. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We lift our hands up unto thy name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Amen, amen, amen. Glory, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Usiwacha kumuomba, enderea na kumsifu, enderea na kumuabudu, enderea na kumuabudu, enderea na kumuomba. Yeye ndiye anapeana Roho Mtakatifu pasipo malipo jikabidhi mikononi mwake endelea ingia ndani ya roho hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen glory 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 hallelujah to the king of kings hallelujah to the lord of lords bwana twakushukuru bwana twakushukuru ni wewe ubatizao Watna wako nero mtakatifu ni wewe bwana ubadilisha mioyo asanti kwa ujumbe wa wakati wa jioni asante kwa huduma ya malakine asanti kwa efeso nyingine ambayo imeachilia roho mtakatifu asante asante bwana asante ahadi zako ni za milele mshukuru bwana twakushukuru bwana Tuwa kushukuru buwana Kwa sababu ya hadi zako Niza mirele Bless the Lord Oh my soul And all that is within me Bless his holy name Oh hallelujah Bless the Lord Bless the Lord Bless the Lord Bless the Lord Oh bless the Lord Oh my soul and all the rest within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and all the rest within me bless his for he has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy close to thee close to thee close to thee close to thee through the gift of life eternal may I enter Lord we Pamoja na wewe Pamoja na wewe Kama 
katika safari yangu twatembe ya na wewe wana usemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu twatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe na yani kutema shaka sawa sawa na wewe Haleluya 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 Oh glory